there, so I had to feed it in there again. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, a leaders meeting, and Mr. Mubar will be also joining us, which is cool, cool, cool. Uh, the main thing, one of the big things tonight is we know that uh, O-Connect is coming out very soon to the market, which is, we're all super excited, obviously. Uh, tonight, if you can, come up with some questions that you might have about O-Connect, mainly. You can ask about other products, but think about that. We will, more people are going to be pulled on. Uh, we want to keep it towards the products, asking the questions and all that, and Stuff you really want to know about it that, that maybe people are asking you or some of the uh, bells and whistles that each one ha that O-Connect has is like um, amazing already. Uh, but before we get started, I was just going to turn it over to Mr. Mapara if, if he had any uh, comments or anything he'd like to say. I have a lot to say. First of all, I have a confession, Mr. DeGarmo, I apologize. I uh, know you wanted me here earlier, but I was eating food. Wow, you eat? Sorry, uh, we, we didn't even know you ate. That's pretty cool. My apologies. I'm criminal. By the way, I am super excited because I see my loved people here and uh, my family here. And uh, we just cannot have enough of them passive uh, day and night, nonstop. And uh, there's so much excitement going on. And uh, for a reason, uh, we wanted to be here or several reasons, but perhaps because uh, a new era of uh, technologies and uh, uh, disruptive uh, technologies are going to be available to the public. Uh, we believe that is imminent. And there is uh, so much uh, excitement we would like to share and uh, uh, bless more people with it and use us. I uh, agree with you. I think it's time for you to ask uh, real questions and uh, all the leaders here, uh, you are so uh, loyal to the journey of Unpassive. Uh, you stuck with us uh, in the uh, uh, past uh, couple of years, we've been working uh, tirelessly, and I know you have your heart with us. For that, I want to thank you. You are fearless leaders, all of you, and um, you are made of gold. Uh, it shows uh, the true you uh, in the uh, uh, unusual times. Now, I'm going to say something you probably didn't expect it, but you know me. <clears throat> I say a lot of unexpected things. My name is Ash Mupare. I'm coming out to you from Orlando right now. And uh, just want to let you know that we at OnPassive are aware of uh, the complaint uh, filed uh, by the SEC, uh, Security of Exchange uh, Commissions against the company, myself and my wife. Uh, yeah, that came out. Uh, have to tell you the truth. Uh, we are disappointed uh, by the sex uh, behavior and uh, that they have decided to file this complaint while uh, we had uh, you know, full uh, compliance and uh, cooperation uh, productively with them over the years, literally for years. We've been always uh, transparent and uh, supportive. Uh, we understood their uh, uh, curiosity and uh, their reasons to investigate, and we've been all along uh, open and we were uh, working uh, under the sun. Uh, we understand some people are probably discomfortable. Uh, I mean, they see discomfort or they're uncomfortable with the uh, unpassive uh, change in the game. Uh, they're not used to such a clean, pure thing. Uh, so they, they're doing everything they could and they have been. I just want you to understand this is not, not a new thing. They have been doing everything in their power to undermine on passive or diminish it or the reputation of Ash Mufarah and all of that. I just want you to know that uh, this is not gonna change the facts, okay? It's all uh, just uh, 
pointless uh, allegations. We strongly disagree with the allegations in all, um, and they uh, they've contained, you know, just some uh, ridiculous uh, uh, points. Uh, and I personally look forward to our day in court. Uh, that's been said. I just want to value all the uh, great loyal uh, leaders and customers and followers and founding members over the years, their support. And we want you to know that we are fully committed and we re remain committed and uh, truthful to you and the, to the fact that on passive is the future of the internet. That's not gonna change. Uh, that's been said, uh, we had to bring this up. It is not gonna uh, change the fact that on passive uh, is, uh, producing and had uh, produced some of the finest technologies. That was our promise in 2018. And we will only bring you the finest technologies, the finest products and services uh, that finally we are uh, witnessing a new uh, transparent, clean company uh, to serve uh, the public. Uh, Unpassive has taken a great role in that. Uh, we are committed to uh, be uh, human and behave in a very humane uh, way to uh, our customers and humanity in general uh, for everything we do. Uh, it is not easy. I never said it's easy from the beginning, but I have to uh, tell you, I always said only God, only God can stop on passive. No one. No one is yet born to have the ability to stop on passive. All right? Only God. And no man and no woman are born yet to stop on passive because it is for the people, it is because of people, and it's the only good hope that we have. On the other side, most of people are just in it for their pockets or some fame or lame popularity for, at any cost. I don't care about that. I'm gonna remain loyal and, and bold. I'm gonna do it or die. Uh, we're just about to roll out life-changing uh, products. Uh, that is not gonna change. And we are not going to get into the nonsense and the uh, disappointing allegations and very, uh, 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 you know, I would say uh, pathetic, sorry to say that word, but uh, that's not gonna change the fact. Uh, we've been working under the sun, uh, not three people, not 3,000, not 300 people, millions of people know who we are, what we do, and we're not ashamed of it. We are so proud of what we do and we will continue doing it. We're not slowing down. Business is as, as usual. You probably see something because it's now turning under the light. To you, probably something new. Just want you to relax because to us, this has been going on and other things and other people, that is a part of the game. When you're someone, when you're going against the flow, uh, when you're really uh, doing something clean, uh, is going to shake up all the corruption. And I would say again, unpassive is the only correction to the corruption. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm told not to uh, give so much details on that. Why? Because we have an amazing uh, legal team. Couldn't ask for a better team. So strong, so powerful, experienced. And they're so passionate about defending you, defending unpassive. And they will settle this one way or another, uh, and we will continue um, our vision, our dreams. That's not going to be changed. My request to you, not to be bothered. Uh, that is a part of our process. We've been dealing with it, and we will continue dealing with that. They just decided, I don't know, oddly to bring that to the light when that is uh, so disappointing. So let that go. I ask you not to give that a lot of attention. Uh, not specifically what happened today, but most uh, people who are against uh, on passive for a reason, 
or some reasons, some of the reasons is because on passive is exposed in them, whether they're businesses or companies, some of them are uh, former founders or founding members, they misbehave, we let them go. Uh, some of them are former employees. Uh, they obviously conspired for uh, an unethical plots and we let them go. What do you think their full-time job now? Nobody would hire a crook, okay, or, or some of them. So uh, we remain committed to our ethics and we are uh, uh, truthful to uh, uh, the, the followers and to, to the users. Uh, we never uh, will and will never, not just in the past, will never, ever, ever, ever harm anyone as on passive. Uh, it's very pathetic to think on passive is after the money or doing anything that is not, uh, you know, good for humanity uh, with the money. Uh, so because of that, I think you should always uh, follow your brain intelligence and your uh judgment you should uh, have your own sense and common sense and uh, evaluation to anything uh, and if you trust the company and our work you know the level of our uh, you know technologies and our uh, process so eventually uh, that will overflow all these uh, chatters here and there it's a part of the game I tell you there's no way you could avoid that when you're someone is going to happen and the darkest moment in in uh, at night or in the night is that moment just before the dawn ri uh, rise or uh before it come the sun comes up so it is normal it is natural uh, a lot of people we understand you know um they are just not comfortable with what we're doing you could guess the reasons and um, that's not going to change the fact that we are uh, the only hope and the only good value to our uh, users and to the market. Uh, so for you, you have a choice to listen to some distraction here and there, which has been going on, and I don't think it should shock you. Or you have a choice to uh, follow uh, your logic, your common sense, your heart, and what makes sense and uh, who is really working hard for you not for their pocket or to manipulate you in your opinion and get your publicity publicity after you choose and be clear don't play on two uh lines okay just be uh affirmative and be clear if you choose to be with them passive and win and go to the top with us then please do not give an ear to the losers, okay? I'm not saying a specific name, so take, uh, th this is a public statement, so don't listen. There are a lot of losers, they have nothing, they don't give you a solution, and they're just chatting, and they, and you know, we kick them out of, of passive, some of them, or some of them we know, you know, they're just unethical. They're not a good fit for unpassive. Uh, we let them go, so this is something they would, uh, wish and hope that will be the end of it in fact it's just an old thing it's been going on not going to affect us so uh you got uh a choice to listen to whiners who never win negative people or to the winners who uh, who would always win and never whine i'm ready to answer any question about products anything uh Feel free, I'm not suppressing in any way a specific topic if you have any concern or all of that. I chose this uh, to be public. Uh, they, they thought they're just gonna catch up before our imminent uh, release of some uh, disruptive technologies. One of them is O-Connect. And uh, I said, you, you're not limited to any topic, uh, whether it's uh, other products or you wanna talk about anything. But I have one request after today, Please don't mention this because we don't have the time for that. We got legal team to do uh, their work. They get paid. Uh, they they have enough information. They know the fact. They're passionate about what we do. They're believers, and uh, this is all what matters. 
So you choose which direction. But if you're with us, I want you to be with your full heart because we don't have time for swingers or, you know, doubters or uh, cheaters. So please be bold, like I'm passive from the beginning and I'm here to do it or die. And I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing this as a challenge. This is just a part of the game. So it's another day in our work, probably a different day because you got to know this. To us, it's kind of old news. Okay, so would you like to uh, ask any question about this or different topics? The choice is yours and everybody's welcome. Anybody, even the haters, mm -hmm. if you have something, come and talk to us. It's okay. We're going to expose you, but if you're real, you come and talk to us. Hi, right, Robin Noble's got her hand up. Robin, go ahead. Hello, everybody. It's so nice to be with all of you this evening. Ash, thank you so much for addressing this. I think the founders are even more proud of you. I think they're even more proud of Unpassive and what we represent to the world. I know that I'm standing with you strong. And I thank you for everything that you've done. My question for you is, please, the other night you were bursting with pride. We could see it. We could hear it when you were talking to us about O-Connect. Please tell us, what is your favorite piece or part of the new O-Connect that will be coming out very shortly? Uh I appreciate the question, uh, and I love it. Uh, thank you so much, Robin, and thank you for being who uh, we all know who you are. Uh, and, uh, you know, to, to be limited to one thing, the one thing I love about O-Connect, that is O-Connect, which should define that it has many unique things and uh, beautiful things. So I apologize not having one technical item on the list to compare that uh, logistically, what could it be? But I do love the quality of our, uh, thank you, appreciate it. This is my wife. She got me a cup of tea, failure is not an option. And thank you, <laughs> bingo. So uh, we, uh, we believe the quality of the the high the high resolution of the video is unmatched. Uh, the quality of the audio, the uh, many unique uh, joyful features that we have, uh, it just makes it a part of us. It just we always wanted that sense, but we we didn't because we're not the makers. Uh, when we got the opportunity to be the makers. We said, oh yeah, we wish that, we wish that. So it's a complete package. I feel comfortable. I feel fulfilled within um, the scope of the features in it. I love the quality. And to me, um, to, to give that uh, cut or a, a reasonable cost to this massive value, that is also disruptive and uh, Two unique uh, features are coming out with the first release, which is the noise cancellation. That's something refreshing, uh, very convenient. You're going to find it useful. And uh, speech to, um, yeah, speech to text, which you can talk and we can have um, that text for us. It's 100% AI technologies. I don't think anybody ever achieved that level of accuracy, speed, and reliability. Uh, so this is the, really the finest, finest, finest uh, web conferencing and uh, video conferencing platform I've ever seen. I wouldn't be ever expecting anything to top it uh, in the near future because we still have more in our tank to add to it. And I couldn't even tell you how passionate we feel that we decided to share the revenue with the market, with our users. Not only they can save and they can earn enough by reselling if they choose to uh, this product, it will be paid for with the unlimited capacity and so many other uh, powerful features, but add to it, they can also gain 
uh, very, very, uh, I would say, reliable uh, revenue that has the power to change their lifestyle and it's unlimited. That is never going to change. I'm passionate about it. So in a nutshell, that's a description of O-Connect. Now, so what is the only thing I'm excited about it? It's O-Connect. So it's, it's, it's everything together. And don't forget that it's a single sign-on. You get everything in the ecosystem as a as a one-stop shop to your digital uh, uh, you know, life. And uh, that's why we say Home Passive is the future of the internet. It's a done deal and nothing, nothing is, is gonna slow it down. Uh, uh, and uh, for us, we're more excited about what you don't even know. Uh, we chose not to share everything and not to open our cards by design. And uh, because of the part that you know and what I just listed to you, and the parts you don't know, I can't believe there any will, anything will be out there that will uh, be even uh, an option. There's no option to me other than O-Connect. So I love it as a whole. I don't like just one thing about it. I love everything about it. It's a beautiful answer. Thank you so much, Ash. That's what I do, Robin. I, I thought, <laughs> you know. A beautiful think, question from a beautiful lady. Got to have a beautiful answer. You know what? Shukran. Boom. Shukran. Listen, I think I, I'm, at first I thought maybe your wife brought you some espresso, but I think she brought you a shot of unpasso. That's what I think happened there. there <laughs> <laughs> Robin, great question. Susie McCray, my another beautiful sister. Come on. Delicious. Oh, delicious. Am I delicious, Ash? You are. <laughs> oh, I'm there perfect. <laughs> Well, um, thank you for coming on tonight. And I was never worried about a thing. And like I say, it's caca and back to business. So I do have a couple questions sure. about O-Connect. Um, not sure if you can answer them publicly or not, but I'm just going to throw them out there anyway. Yeah. In the, in the first release that's coming really uh, imminent uh, soon, Will we have the feature of creating our own resound and loading up any background? Maybe this has been discussed before and I missed it, um, but the resound, the um, background and the uh, live stream on YouTube. So remember Robin, what I said about the quality of the sound and uh, uh, the audio and the video uh, that's yes. unmatched but also uh, there is a part that uh, I kind of held myself and brought myself back because I didn't want to make, make it a lengthy answer to you. Uh, but now that Susie has mentioned it, uh, there are a couple other components. I believe uh, they are unbelievably uh, uh, dominant and uh, uh, jaw dropping. Uh, which is the quality of when you have a virtual background. So we nailed that part. It was a challenge because we had options and what's available in the market, okay? Uh, either it's going to flicker, that's the challenge with it, or going to have a lot of dependency on your internet connection, the strength of your signal, okay? So for those reasons, um, we searched the market uh, to see what's the best out there. Uh, that we can include it, and it wasn't available. We got to try. We purchased a few uh, technologies, whether it's a plugin or something, to add it to that uh, background. Uh, it's not a new thing, okay? Uh, so we thought, like, we we start with it, and later we, uh, you know, because we don't want to uh, hold up that feature, we didn't want to like uh, disable it and go without it. We said no problem. We'll include it from what's available in the market with the, you know, the best possible quality, and then go. And we reviewed and tried and integrated one after another, and all of them were just not to our standards. Some of them are acceptable, but still we thought there could be better. And the only answer to that was our AI ML uh, team. Uh, we said we have no choice but to stay on it and come up with the best 
and they, uh, they, they were very committed and determined. So they came up with the best uh, virtual background option. Now you're gonna have so many, okay? You're gonna have so many themes that is added to the first release. You'll be able to add your own uh, virtual background at the same time, any image, any poster, obviously, but with a very, very impressive uh, quality. Okay, and stability. On the other hand, um, there might be more sounds that you think uh, for the resound um, that we will start with it. The other component is, is done, but there is a part of customer experience. We didn't want to load so many things. So by design, we held more features a week later, two weeks later, by design, there's a flow uh, to do that. But the virtual background, I believe it will be uh, in the first release. Uh, the second release doesn't mean in an, a year or a few months. It could be the next week, the following week, something like that. So uh, consider it's done. I gave you okay. a detailed answer because I took yes. the opportunity to clarify the quality of the virtual background, which is unbelievable. Yes. Needless to say, the resound, it doesn't exist in any platform. So that's completely unseen. The bonus, yes. Well, but thank you're gonna, you. Love, you're going to love the, um, the, the new uh, themes, like the entire theme for what we have. Uh, we've added a bunch more, okay, plus the ones you've seen uh, in the, in the fir uh, first release, okay, or the testing release. Uh, but I think you are uh really going to be addicted okay you will be addicted to o connect it's this uh flawless uh reliable and all of that uh please go ahead uh susie one more thing yeah. you want to say well yeah thank you very much that answered it you kind of answered my other question which was we all know that um you have told us mm. time after time that once the products released there will be features that will be released consistently going forward so i understand more things to come so will will the 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 um option to uh go to youtube be in the that's the in the initial? very next release yes absolutely the next so release. you're gonna have okay. you're gonna have i think mr digarmo can tell you how much we pay for example to be able to connect uh zoom to uh live stream on other channels and uh we uh at first, we did it in Connect Me, the initial uh, O Connect uh, version, and then we changed that to O Connect. Uh, so we did it, okay. Uh, but then we uh, paused on that, thinking that we shouldn't allow people to watch publicly if they want to watch their uh, speaker uh, or the presenter. They need to come to the back office uh, or have a free ecosystem account. So that will uh, grow their uh, customers base and their database. And then from there, they choose uh, how they communicate with their audience due to the multiple tools we offer. However, uh, the uh, uh, recent uh, experiences, we thought we should give the option at least as one of the phases in, in the initial phases to give the uh, the user and the customer give them the option they have the approach to only allow people within their ecosystem users database or their contacts or they can post a link publicly for others to watch it that's option two option three to live stream from o connect out to youtube or potentially in the future other uh, live stream or video stream uh, videos so this is uh, we've brought it back to the you know say from the back burner to the front burner now i would expect it in in just uh, a short time i cannot say the the time uh i mean we're hopeful that the next release or so which is really not long that we will have the ability to add while you're live you decide to to you want to add a channel a channel you add it but you decide to add a second channel, click add more, 
add more, add more, add more, add more, add more, add more, add more, and that is not going to add a dime to your billing. Okay, so this is another complete service like Ustream or what is it? Ustream, I believe, right? Uh, Restream. 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 Yeah. Restream. 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 Yeah. Restream. Yeah. 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 Yeah, sorry, I pay for it. Okay, and I don't know. Uh, so restream, uh, basically, uh, I think it's like three hundred dollars for up to twenty channels. That's the maximum uh, package. Absolutely, yep. And that's the uh, max. Uh, max so let, let's say let's say we give you the ability to have twenty five channels. Okay, plus, I mean, we're not going to limit it, but hypothetically, this is a three hundred dollar value easily. Add it to you, but the convenience is better. And I um, discussed with the team to hold on those uh, channels, unless you want to change that. So they're going to be stored in your account. So if you decide to do the same, like in the future, okay, you don't have to re-input them. They're connected. You just push. They're live. Then you can add, hide, you know, channel by channel. You just want to do it on one channel. Uh, conveniently. Anything we do is going to be user-friendly. Uh, and you know the saying, how you do anything is how you do everything. Uh, so that is coming soon, Susie, the, the, the conclusion. And you know what we nailed? I'm going to throw that as a bonus. You know, I, I love to overgive, uh, which is the uh, presentation. So here's the thing. Now, you don't need to leave the platform to show like your desktop and show a file or whatever, right? Okay, you stay there, you upload a file, right? Now that file can be, you're gonna love it. It's so graphical in a, in a friendly way. Are you taking notes, uh, Robin? More reasons why I love it. All of that, all of the above, not one of the. So this new thing about the presentation that we nailed it, it was, you know, some, uh, I would say, uh, it's a good exercise. No one say a challenge. I don't believe in challenges. Okay. It's a good exercise for us until we perfected it the way I wanted it, which is not to only upload a PDF or PowerPoint. It's not limited. You can upload an image. You can upload an Excel sheet. How convenient is that for you in your business to upload a spreadsheet, Word document, any file of any format, and have the ability to annotate on it, to doodle on it, have a discussion, interactive discussion. That is already done. That should be coming to the first release of uh, OConnect. Perfected the presentation. So you don't need to go to your desktop or machine or device, you can upload it and keep it there next time. Anything that you're doing, you'll be able to uh, just, just pop it up there. And another unique thing, okay, you're able to, the, the attendees or your uh, audience are able to download the current page, whatever you're showing. So there is a screen capture and there's just a capture of that specific page. The system will understand that you just want that part. You don't want the whole screen to be captured. And then you have an opportunity to make it downloadable to the entire uh, group. So you're having a, a class of uh, example, like 5,000 people right now. Unbelievable. Okay, just on, on this uh, uh, session. And so the 5,000 will be able to click and they download it. You know, you don't have to send it over mail or something. This is already included in the first release. So there, it's it's not just a web conference. There's love in it. There's more and more and more. And since you know the two ladies asked about O Connect, I'm gonna even top it off. Okay, so we got the presentation. Okay, which is unmatched. But you also uh, ask about the the YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna also share one more thing. So we have, don't ask me, it's the first one, the second one, because there's not really a big gap between the two, okay? It's all good, whatever, you know, 
comes up. It, you got plenty the first meal, and then we add appetizers or you know dessert and all of that. And I'm still gonna be passionate about my food all the time. Okay, so what happened is, what happened is, okay, uh, you know how you can share YouTube in the current edition that you have. So now you'll be able to upload the raw video, MP4, okay? So that's another format, and we've added another video stream, Vimeo, you know it, okay? So any link, okay, you'll be able to do it. And uh, two days ago, yes, Thursday, um, We've uh, tested it at 12K. I've heard of a uh, 1K, 4K, 8K technologies, but we've tested a video that was 12K. It will exceed. It will exceed the quality of anything you've seen in your life, unmatched. But what most of you are ignoring the fact that we also have the Connect hardware components with just not the cherry on the top. It's another cake and cake and layer, layer, like a wedding cake, like 717 layers, if you wish, unstoppable. So we have the hardware still coming up in the pipeline. Uh, again, we, we insisted, we're stubborn about the rollout. Like we know we have some products are parked just so we can roll out um, O-Connect and make a bang. Why? Because how you do one thing or anything is how you do everything. And we want you to, know, to have this sense, this is how Unpassive does it. And this is how we do it. So that is also added. And you're going to have that in the first release. That is tested. All right, Susie. So you also can stream another, any form of a video. Now, the following one, OK, uh, beside you know, the YouTube uh, live stream, uh, you know the, the player option so you have that option where people can drag forward you know it's like they're watching a recorded video and there is daryl cook there is something for example you're gonna love 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 okay uh or any tutor for that matter which is the playback aspect as a class so I have done a webinar and he said, man, this is perfect. How can it get any better? Or it's a class, you know, let's say physics 101. I don't know, whatever class is okay. And you have that class. It's not going to change. You know, you have another class tomorrow or next month or whatever. You don't need to redo it. It's the same. But you have the option to override it. So you click play within the video frame. You click play. Now you're replaying a class or a presentation or a previous webinar, whatever it is. So you play that. You could pause and talk over it, okay? Or comment over it, audio or text, okay? And integrate other forms of it, okay? Like the whiteboard. You follow me? Okay, the whiteboard, you could actually add an image to it. You could add you know, your own pencil or marker. It's, it's beautiful and you can save it. So you have a whiteboard, you doodle something, you sketch something, man, it came out, it makes sense. So it's, how do you take a screenshot? You click save, just what, there's one icon, save, that's it. It will store it in your, in your folder on your hard drive, my download, and it's there next time. So, oh, this is what I was trying to explain to Gene and you know, let's take a look at it. So go back to it. Next time I can bring it up to my students, okay? Same thing, same doodles. I've done it three years ago. I bring it back. Okay, I say this is what we've discussed, or this is what they, you know, you know, drew for me, or something. Uh, this is time eff uh, efficiency. This is this is to 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 be in the driver's uh, uh, seat all the time, like in charge of where you have technology serve you. So leverage your time to be more lucrative in every aspect. Uh, I, I think this is gonna change the educational uh, process, uh, the presentations and business and marketing, all the departments, uh, orientation. You know, you have uh, 
you're onboarding. We're staffing our own passive all the time. So people come in uh, or we're having a virtual interview or something orientation for them. Okay. Now within O Connect, I'll be able to play back something and step in when I need or pause. I don't have to do the same thing over and over. Okay. And you can definitely customize that how uh, you want. Uh, I'm going to mention something else. You have the option to, okay, the, there is a host and there's co-host, speakers and attendees, four different types of uh, people involved, okay, or players involved in the uh, O-Connect uh, session. The host and co-host, when they change the view, we have four views, okay? When we change the view, it changes that for everybody. So it's confusing right now. Everybody has a different device and you click gallery, but where did Jean go? Lystra got lost the other day. We're looking for her. She's looking for herself, right? You recall that? And then, you know, uh, we lose focus on the substance of the, the meeting. So in OConnect, uh, the, the host and co-host can click and override the view for everybody. But you also, as an attendee, you have the option to change it. The host changes that again. Okay. The host changes that again. It will change again. There you have to undo it. So you, you will need to know how to change the view. There's a gallery view. There's a side view, which basically the speakers on the side and one in the middle, all right? One speaker in, in the middle, in the center, spotlight. And everybody else on the side, on the panel. You follow me? Okay. And the third view, which is just the speaker. So we only see the speaker. We're not distracted by, by our videos. And the other one, I think we should consider renaming that. Maybe you can come up with a better name because you're, you know, genius, geniuses, uh, which is, we call it no view, okay? I don't think it's, it's, uh, it's meaningful, but the idea of that is only the content is what was displayed and that overrides everybody. Basically a big screen, full screen on any device I'm showing a whiteboard. I'm showing a video. You know how like in the video or when you take off on an airplane, uh, okay, uh, when you travel, uh, you have to mute your devices. I don't, I don't think it's a big deal anymore. Okay, so that is a part of just like focus on the safety, the security. So the, the, the host or co-host chooses to uh, just focus on the video, make no, no view. The, nobody else is going to be shown on the screen. No content, nothing. Everything is kind of like it, it's, it, it is expanded, just full view. And you cannot override that until they move back to another uh, view. I thought that is uh, more efficient, focus, uh, being more effective in your uh, presentation. You see why? So many reasons. Uh, to be excited about Oak Connect. Wow. Wow. Robin, Susie and everyone. Yeah. Wow. It's definitely there's Thanks. more. And this is now. This is done now. Wow. So, mm. Well, once again, you over delivered, Ash. Over delivered. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you for answering those questions. I'll let someone else go. Yeah, that's that's it, folks. Wow. We'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> see y'all tomorrow. That was enough for me to listen. I mean, look at that. Like you know me, but I I just get passionate when we're talking about what we're doing. And, you know, uh, we take so much pride in, in our process. I love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Susie, great question. Ash, thanks for all the bonus answers. Amazing. Now, this next guy, not only do I have good looking sisters, I have very handsome brothers. And they say that this next guy I am going to introduce looks just like me if I only had glasses. So, now you can see. See, me and Michael look exactly the same. Michael, unmute yourself, my brother. 
Indeed, my brother from another mother. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Chris. Uh, you know, uh, just, you know, I I've said it many times uh, that I'm 100% on passive and that has not changed and that will never change. So, um, you know, everyone knows where I stand. My family is with me uh, and a whole host of others. Um, you know, on passive is the only business that gives us, all of us, the world for that matter, a fighting chance. Um, you know, so we're 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 moving uh, forward, business as usual. I'm 100 with that. Now, with we we know Ash um, that you know o, o Connect is going to be the most impressive um, you know webinar system platform uh, out there in the market uh, ever seen. Right? We know that O Connect it is going to is be already yeah right. It's 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 the cornerstone. Um, of on passive and it's setting the standard um, you know for business right so so we, we know that we know that students um, at any level uh, you know they're going to enjoy their experience uh, with O Connect. we know it's going to be the lowest uh, price out there of anything that's on the market right so so we know all only that. one pays you back yeah so my my question though right we, we know all of that and I was going to ask you um, what is one new feature uh, you know, that you are excited about, but you've, that that's out the door. You already gave that answer multiple times over. Um, so my second question then is going to be uh, with regards to the, the free products that we have, O-Mail, O-Trim, O-Net, are we going to get a revision of those before we have O-Tracker um, as the product uh, coming out after uh, O-Connect? Or will it be uh, the other way around? Well, very, very uh, uh, interactive topic that we have all the time on our side as a corporate. We uh, we discuss like what would make sense, the order and the uh, you know arrangement of our rollout, uh, and uh, what is very obvious that obviously. O Connect as paid product has to be the first one. Uh, perhaps we have other products are just ready to roll out after this. Uh, but uh, we uh, have different opinions. And uh, the most popular one on the company side that after O Connect, whatever is ready, let it go. Whatever, fire it up. Yeah, just, just anything that is ready. So whether even a partial thing that is ready. So let's say, oh, mail, we don't need to revamp it like and just wait a month, for example, to have a new O mail, okay? Rather, whatever work is done today, it's live, it's pushed live, you know, without you, seamlessly. So there could be uh, multiple things are going on at the same time. That's why we always uh, mention that it's going to be hard to catch up because you're gonna be, you have to be engaged. But we try to tell you, like uh, our communication department, we try to tell you, uh, we're we just released this or something like that. Uh, but it's it's just rather gonna be many things at the same time so quickly. All right, there you have it, folks. Very good question, uh, my yeah, twin. Very good question, yeah. So the time, and I think once you have that, because it's like kind of like holding everything behind it, once we unleash it, uh, it's it's a wild ride, yes, for sure. Thank you for the question. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you. Yeah, excellent, Michael. Very good question. Um, now, this guy, next guy, um, I love him like a brother. He's the one responsible for getting my crazy big mouth in this company. I'm so grateful, and I will always be thankful to him. Uh, even though he's moving to Arizona, he will always be a Michigander. Mr. Peter Shore, please unmute yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Uh, brother Ash, I hope you and your family are doing well. I want you to know personally in front of uh, over 5,000 people that I'm 1,000% behind you and with own passive. And I would never uh, filter away and change my mind about that. I'm 100, 1,000% on passive. 
um, uh, suggestion for the uh, what you mentioned today you, you mentioned a lot of stuff I had few questions but you answer them all plus some uh, the no view um, you can name it maybe possibly presentation view yeah. there would be nobody there um, the testing that you did for the 12k is that with or without the hardware for OConnect? without the hardware without the hardware wow. on our devices but you could see so my device for example is not a 12k but right. we we brought a content that's 12k you're going to feel the difference it's still it's it is not i didn't see 12k on my device none of us 4k up to 4k but but you you see it's like there's an extra there's a booster resolution okay uh so that only you can see you know connect uh you know uh brother peter uh and everyone there's also that signal string so we decided to include that actually there's a bar you know just like your cell phone so it's a it's right there at top right corner it is uh is displaying the strength of your signal wow. and it will populate like if you're having a weak signal something like that so it's giving you a heads up if if you know the the quality is dropping is because of your signal if you know you have an excellent uh strength uh then obviously you're going to have the best experience so oh, that's already we are already reading your uh signal o o connect is reading your signal wow so that will adjust quality based on your signal yeah so for example if you we're talking about 1k is the default but okay. you happen to have something you know really half half of that so if we uh it's not going to load okay it's either going to be sketchy i'm talking about a regular case it's going to be either sketchy or it's going to drop so with oconnect we designed it in a way to drop the quality but better than having something you know totally unreliable or totally drop so it's to have something better than zero if you wish amazing and as far as the uh, recording um will we have in the first version be able to record yeah, absolutely it's it's by default recording everything the story in that and you can download it it's by default it's already recording you don't have to remember that you don't have to set it up yeah okay but, so but you can also stop and record and have multiple files yes you can do that awesome. and uh and the storage for the recording doesn't uh cost you know other platforms they charge you for storage and for the gigas you know, running out of storage and all of that so that's already included that's that's a huge thing because i know the platform we're using right now charges for that for the storage ridiculous yep. amount so that's yeah. uh that's and you have uh, to make a commitment saving. mostly annual yeah they don't give yes. you the option yeah and yeah. that believe it or not that is for those who need to record especially if you're uh, uh, a trainer or coach or you you want to record your sessions okay like the 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 case uh i mentioned uh, with the uh, daryl cook uh yeah. i believe uh it will be just unfair for those people you know just like they will end up paying more for the storage and the hosting in yeah. other platforms but o connect is definitely a uh, a good uh, breath of uh, fresh air for them all right and you said the broadcast for youtube will not be live at the first version maybe second uh but you can take the recording and put it in I'm, I'm actually you know peter i'm trying to say you know first and second it's almost like back to back like there's not like going to be that big cap but you know the priority to roll out the 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 stable version right now people are just hungry to use it and uh, pay for it and, and go to work okay uh and and again we want to uh, uh get attention in the market uh, obviously for the quality of what we have but then continue to keep it fresh very good you don't want to have uh you know i'm sorry like 15 years of the same thing or a year of the same thing what about 300 things happening in one year 
So it's it's really not going to stop once we roll it out. It, it, because if I say first version, second version, it sounds like there's a couple of months or more. Uh, that's in a typical case outside on password. But there are people working on those. If they don't catch the first release, they're coming after a week or two. I don't know. Same release. Follow up release. Yeah, so uh, it's over. I mean, by the time you get the hang of what we have and like get addicted and before you're not going to get bored. OK, then something else is going to come up. Something else is going to come up. And of course, more things like, you know, I didn't talk about the digital avatar. I didn't talk about the translation. I didn't talk about it just going to go on and on and on. And ideas that we chose not to share yet. So why tell the competition or, you know, the haters a volunteerly thing? You'll see it and you're just going to uh, be impressed. I, I like that uh, surprise factor to the audience. Thank you, Mr. Ash. You're always over the like to stack the cool, like to stack the cool. Always. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. And uh, I know you're going to go to Arizona, but your heart is in uh, Michigan. Woohoo. Hear that, Michael? Oh, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Pete, excellent question. Guys, I'm loving the questions. And I know a lot of you have your hands up. We're going to get to you. But I'm going to put this out straightforward because I'm a straightforward kind of honest guy. Uh, you hear the questions that Ash is answering. He's coming out with fire out of his mouth with these answers, which I love. So please, if we bring you on, have a question ready. Ash already knows you love him. I'm going to say it for everyone. Ash, we love you. We thank you for everything you've done for us. We're forever grateful for you. But we want questions. All right. Julie, you put your hand down. I think you want to be after Pete. So my beautiful sister, Julie, come on. What you got? Sure. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate you. Uh, hello, Mr. But if you have an extra hug or extra love, I mean, I know somebody who could use a hug. So I'll, I'll tell you there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, Mr. Ash. Hello, everyone. I am so excited and I'm so proud to be part of this company. And I wanted to thank you. Uh, I love uh, that you are our CEO, that you are leading this company and what you are doing to, uh, right now to literally giving the opportunity to the entire world, uh, to, you know, for all of us here to change, to make a difference uh, in the world. I do have two questions. And uh, the first question is along with what Peter was asking, Sherry Dursaway and I were on the phone the other day and we wanted to going back to the recording of the meeting and we want to search for, you know, uh, let's say we love someone speak, you will, we love the speakers that came on to our meeting. Will we be able to open that recording and search for the name of the individual or the speaker while we are replaying back uh, the recording? I'm sorry, so are you talking about the recording? Yes, the recording. Okay, so in O Connect, we know that we can record and we can save the recording. Now, if we were to go back and watch that recording, and we love a certain speaker in that meeting, will we Link. be able to go in and search for their name? Yeah, yeah, it's listed by the date, by the uh, by the session name. You know, we have a name for the uh, session. So the session. So when you go to previous webinars, you're going to have a schedule webinar or event and uh, current webinars and uh, so the previous one you would find uh, you're going to also find the recordings uh, by dated and uh, titled and you would yes. have a link or play or download absolutely you have the mp4 download file beautiful my my question for us particularly on one session of the recording will i be able to go in let's say that there are three speakers at that time and i want i would like to listen to speaker number two for example um you know nowadays we kind of have to go in and kind of search for that part that mark will we be able to literally search for the name now that we have ai behind uh, will we be able to search for the particular name of the speaker uh, I don't think currently we have something like that, but it's a, a brilliant idea, Julie. I think what we could do is uh, we can segment it like or categorize, like have uh, different segments, uh, slice it up 
uh, we can do that or forward and just cut the part you want. We can do it. But don't forget the recap part, like I mentioned to you also, we're having a great progress with it. Uh, don't bother first, second, third release. It's all almost you know in tandem, okay? Uh, but it is also coming. We're gonna have AI recap uh, video and uh, uh, just text as well. And of course, multiple languages. This is a game changer. No, no, no joke. You see, if I'm excited, it's for a reason. If I'm fired up, it's for another reason. But uh, I understand there are people probably you don't want to listen to Julie, but uh, don't invite them to your webinars. So <laughs> you don't have to go through that. Thank you so much. Why would you want to invite to somebody and you don't want to listen to them? <laughs> That's right. Um, I appreciate your answer. I do have a second, um, you know, the second question is that, sorry, Chris, uh, there's another one coming. Um, how do you envision a founder or a user who wants to use OConnect to help introduce the platform to others? Do you have any tips? To invite people to OConnect? Basically, we want to use um, OConnect. How, do you have any tips how we going oh. to introduce it? Is there going to be a simplicity to be able to market that instead of the feature? I mean, in addition to the feature... Well, once people it. or your attendees, they create a free uh, ecosystem, like just a pass, uh, username and password, they would have access to the ecosystem, so they would have other products. You can tell them, take a look at the presentations, the videos, the text for the uh, oh, connect if you like a bite, okay? Uh, another way, if I care about somebody, I'll tell them, come on, let's hang out on this uh, new thing, just me and you, and invite them and just give them the host or the co-host panel. They're going to chase you. You're going to be the hunted, okay? You don't have to add a word. Just let them experience it. The best way is to sample it. Come on, take a look. You can get your own free. And give it to them right there. Call to action. Give them the link. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. You got any more? You I'm good? good. I'm good. All right. Thank you for the great questions. Come uh, back if you have more. No worry. You can okay. refill. Thank you. Ash is like full of spit and vinegar tonight. I'm loving it. Now this next guy. That's have, what uh, barbecue sauce does to me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Now this next guy doesn't like barbecue sauce either, but he's okay. also like globe trotter all over. He's also the tallest guy in the inside of the apple. So Charles, a song. <laughs> Turn on that. I'm passive. No body my, shaming. My man, Chris, I have to taste that barbecue sauce and egg someday, especially from you. <laughs> you tried it? You really tried it? Not, not yet. I, I want to try Chris's. Yeah. I need to make that one. This is right. But yeah, we um, just to reiterate my support, like everyone else, Ash, we're with you 100%, 10,000%. Unshakable, right? Thank you. Yeah. And, and I'm very excited about O Connect, to tell you the truth. The more I hear the features, the more I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get my hands on them and, and just play with it, right? Now, I know in the um, the trial version that we have, we can have 17 people on the panel. I know you told us 16. In in in, in the now, the yeah. The host, so seventeen, right? And then I'm still the, working. Okay, the commercial version you want said it's gonna be twenty five. They're about you know. Correct. So it's five by different. five. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now, if we are having a meeting, a webinar, a meeting, that meeting you can have up to a hundred. Uh, yeah, which is the conference. We call it conference, right? That's up to a hundred. Mm -hmm. So, so if we're having a webinar, which is a thousand for this first package that we're up to one twenty-five, correct? Now, and somebody in the guest has a question and they raise their hand. Are we going to be able to just like bring them up so we can see them right on the panel? Yeah, right we can talk to them. Yeah. So you're going to have uh, that's another question. So in the uh, paid uh, edition now, uh, by default, everybody. 
will not see the uh, list of names. OK, so there is a little toggle on the top right. Let me try to see if I can show you one. Uh, I, I think, maybe I think I know, not, I've, I've seen that toggle, yes. You see it, OK. So yeah. you drag it. Uh -huh. It will open. It will expand it, OK? And there's another click that you can see the details. Okay. So for your uh, speakers, obviously, because only speakers can talk, OK? Uh, on the screen, it will pop. On the screen, on the video, it will pop their uh, hand. You can force hands, all hands lowered, or you can lower somebody's hand. So always the host and co-host can override an action, OK? Because they're in control. You can also mute and hide uh, somebody's video. That is probably another week, OK? Uh, they're, they're still working on that feature. So for example, on your video, there's going to be video and a mic on, on your uh, video frame, OK? Let's call it the, the video view of Charles. is going to have, you can raise your hand, OK? It will be visible there. You follow me? Mm -hmm. If you're just a speaker, I can lower your hand if I'm a co-host or a host. You follow me? Okay. But also you have another two icons on your name, on your video. Just look at the video right now, okay? Within that rectangle, at the bottom right corner, you have a, a, a camera icon and a mic. Say a noise, I see it coming from there, and don't tell me how I know it's you, because it will be looping. It's like a live stream. I know the speaker. So it will highlight the speaker. Mm -hmm. Very dynamic animated uh, graphic we have. You're gonna love it, okay? Then, then I can, because I know it's there, so it's handy. I can do it from the list, mm -hmm. but I can also just tick that screen, mute you. And if it's an improper, somebody, you know, forgot something, whatever, okay? Uh, I can force the camera. So now I'm really in charge as a host or a co-host. So you see, we can be more professional. Like if, if, you, if you don't like the attire of somebody, you're, you're having a class and you do, you know, if somebody's improper or there's something is unacceptable, you could hide their video and their mic right there on the screen. Same thing, lower hand, upper hand, you can do that. Uh, they could do that on the screen. Perhaps that goes to the entire list of attendees. You're going to see all of their names, and you're going to see all of their uh, flags and countries. Just first name, last name, Charles Osong, USA, or United States, and the flag. That's what you're going to see. And, and the host or the co-host can bring an attendee up to, hey, ask your question you can, and then bring them back. Yes. you can From the attendees, you can put them as a speaker. Okay. And your speakers, you can convert them to a host. And if you said, I am going to go and drop off somebody or to the airport or whatever, I'm out or, okay, I'm going to hand it to Gersminder. Okay. You're in charge. I'm gone. So you could pass on the host to somebody. You can give them a co-host. You can take it back. You can put them back to the attendees. All those possibilities are available. Okay. Full control, conveniently. Perfect. Perfect. I had another one. But, and the uh, first time you know, I know it's a beautiful release and mm -hmm. we already like what we have and, you know, we cannot live without it anymore. Okay. It's more expressive in a way, but uh, the bad news is the first day of that release, once you uh, put your hands on it, is going to mm -hmm. be the ugliest you would ever see it. <laughs> it's only going to get better, as better good better. as it will be, but it will be the ugliest ever. And the, the other bad news is going to be... Then it's just like Chris, better every day, <laughs> more handsome every day. It's going to be addictive, you can tell. Yes. Charles, you got another one, go ahead. Yes, no, I'm going to let others... I'm loving the, the questions, that's how I love it. <laughs> I love real, you know, uh, important questions or topics, yes. That's how we so, do this. Yeah, so the other one skipped my head because I didn't write it down. But by the time they are done talking, it'll come again. So let's go around, Chris. Sure, you can refill. 
Yeah. Okay, we'll come back to you, Mr. Charles, because this next guy, he's one of my favorite three people. He's from Canada, which, you know, I love Canadians, but he represents the Indian community, and he's a really good friend of mine, Mr. Gershmender Dillon, and we all call him, well, I call him Gersh. Come on, Gersh. <laughs> my brother. Thank you. Hello. Uh, hi, Ash. Uh, first of all, thank you uh, for coming uh, today, and uh, uh, we stand by you 100%. And uh, on behalf of India, I can say the whole of the India, the whole of the India stand by you uh, in any situation. And uh, uh, we know that uh, these are the just a weak minds of haters or whatever we can say. They will continue to do all those things. But we, we stay strong, all of us, uh, I can say. And we are 100% with you, sir. Nothing to worry about that. And uh, I have a few questions, just a quick questions. One, one you already answered like a hardware, it's not coming right now. It will be a uh, follow uh, after uh, the release, right? And uh, the other one is uh, uh, whether this, this uh, current release, first one is coming with the 4K resolution or uh, uh, like less or uh, more? With which uh, option, the first release, I'm sorry? Yeah. The first one, which will be coming right now, any uh, okay. any time. So, is it coming with the 4K uh, resolution or what? Yes. Uh, so it will be 4K, but obviously most devices are not 4K. But you will get the highest res resolution to it. Yes, we our technology is 4K, and we have hardware that is 8K. We have 4K and 8K hardware. Okay. Got which it. is the camera. Mm -hmm. and uh, the mics and all of the, uh, we call it OWL. The, uh, it's a camera that uh, is AI. It will follow the motion. So you're speaking now, it will uh, follow you. Then uh, Charles talks again, it will go on him. You don't have to control that. So it's like, instead of a cameraman, it's AI driven, it will, maneuver following the speaker and the and the motion and the and the and the sound okay i uh, got it and uh, the second i don't think is... you got it because that's going to blow your mind and i know it's gonna it's gonna impress you i know that yeah so <laughs> but because we didn't want to open topics unless like it's there so we add it to the back office you go you order it you'll love it Perfect. Uh, so the second question, Ash, is uh, that uh, we know that uh, our first uh, product is it is coming like a three month month of package, right? And uh, uh, we know that uh, we pay for the three months only. Or connect. Only, only or connect. connect. Yeah. Yeah. The same. Yes. A single product is coming for the three month of packages, and right. we have to pay for a one month, and uh, and the other ninety seven dollar we will be getting estimate estimate As, because estimate. of the 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 additions. Yeah. It's almost uh, um, one month value for the founders, founding members okay. only. Okay, so so we pay the next subscription after that, uh, approximately three, three months after. After that, you're gonna have monthly subscription, okay. quarterly, and annually. You're gonna have three. And annually is gonna give you a good discount. So basically uh, you say that- uh, uh, The in first these... one is, is a quarter, just so we can make it, uh, we, we don't, you know, uh, get overwhelmed with many options, you know, in the beginning. So we want to be at the same level, stabilize it. Three months later, 90 days later, we will open more options and more payments and more payouts. Yeah. Okay. So got it. And uh, the other question is, uh, uh, as that is for us, like uh, we uh, conduct meetings. So on an average, uh, on to daily basis, we get somewhere around 3,000 or 4,000 attendees in our webinar. Uh, which is on Zoom, but uh, now yeah. as we will be getting uh, open it, so uh, I as we about say, you. yeah, because I pay for twenty k, which yeah. is almost eight thousand dollars a month. Okay, yeah. that's without that's without the restream, okay, service, and that's without the hosting. Just that's the basic fees for the twenty thousand. I thought about you, and I thought about uh, a few people. We might just comp you the first three months, okay, until we give you choices to upgrade to higher packages. I. I specifically thought about the Indian group. So I, I will make sure that will either boost your account 
uh, or at least a couple of uh, leaders like yourself or Kashik Pandya, uh, you know, Niraj, or those uh, active leaders will give them maybe a comp, like more, maybe up to five, ten thousand. No problem, don't worry. On me, and uh, yeah, don't worry, no problem. So we'll have yeah. uh, probably something like that. Specific accounts, we give them that extra bonus. Mm -hmm. But but I want to add, come on, come on, come on, Gersminder. Okay, uh, good question so far. But at the end of the three months, okay. So the first three months, okay, it's a it's a bundle. But at the end of the three months, it will be more incremental. So we can have smaller packages, bigger packages, and all the options of the terms. But remember the funding wallet, you could move, okay, from your revenue. Remember the word revenue, wallet, there's revenue and there's funding wallet. So from the, uh, you one of the options, you could have like, a, a specific amount to add to your wallet. The system is gonna suggest not this week or not this like imminent uh, release, okay? But a couple of weeks, you're gonna have, the system is gonna tell you, okay, Gersminder basically is gonna give you a snap shot of your financial plan. It knows you have OConnect, you have OTracker, which package all of that. So it's gonna give you a summary of your subscriptions and the dates and how much you have in your wallet and how much is, is due or you need to add to the balance. So it will give you add funds. This is your wallet. We don't uh, go to your wallet. Only the system can take the purchases from the wallet. Okay, now, so it's gonna tell you uh, suggested minimum balance is 400. You follow me? Because it knows your subscriptions within that amount. Now, uh, you could choose and do it one time or do it monthly or weekly, whatever the option is. What is it, pay, Payton, something in India like that? Uh, Paytm. Paytm. Paytm, okay. So it will give you the option to add a specific amount or the due amount, which is always on your dashboard, okay? And which funding source? You can select the bank, you can select the card, or you can select revenue. The other wallet, the positive wallet. And once you have, by default, so once you have enough in the revenue, it's just a backup, your banker card. It's just a backup. But we, are, we don't go there unless you give a permission monthly, one time, but you would always, in your dashboard, you know the spending budget, okay? Like this is a relief for all those, you know, who want to be always clear on the budget, the spending, the, the cost of your business. On the other hand, uh, the revenue, which you will see how much you have and, and uh, will uh, we'll, uh, pay out every week, for example, or will let you just request a payout. All those options are gonna happen. But India, uh, this year, we will have a card for you. It's already in the process, like it's, it's just a done deal. Uh, you're going to have uh, cards. So on passive, we'll load your balance on a card. You, you know, let's say weekly, whatever your uh, revenue, okay? Any balance, we will move it to the card. That's one option, but you can also request a payment by, uh, you know, to go to your bank. We will deposit it in your bank. Don't so ask as, us uh, talk, Talking about cards, uh, do we get a physical card or it's like a Both download? Both virtual and physical okay. will be mailed to you. You buy, you buy it. It's not expensive. And I want to make it commissionable. Remember what I said? Yeah. yeah. You get a Perfect. physical good card shipped to you, okay? And you can shop with it. Uh, but you also have the virtual card immediately once you order so that. So that we can load it with our uh, maybe commission. Or with your name on it yeah this is only you cannot add funds to it the only we we only add funds to it but you can so, spend on it so that means uh, if we have uh, some re revenue of our, our commissions over there so we can't load the card only company will load that card right yes 
Okay. Security. And I think you should like that. So we don't access to take money out of it. We can only have access to give you money. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. So, India check. check. <laughs> okay. That's the congratulation, India. You are checked. <laughs> We got yes. Naraj coming up pretty soon, so we're going to check it again. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Naraj, my brother. Good to see you. Anything man. else? Grossbender? Great yeah. topics always, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very good. Okay, this next guy, uh, absolutely love him, and I mean that desperately. I want to thank him for doing helping with the notes with Peter Shore, Janet Butler, and Dan Street. You are amazing. Daryl Cookman, unmute yourself, yeah. please. Hey, thanks so much for allowing me to come on. Hi, Ash. How are you? Hey, I got a, great. Uh, an interest. Okay. Great. I have a very interesting question. Very serious now. So I'm a teacher and I want to reward uh, a, a specific student for great work. Like, you know, let's, let's say Chris Johnson. Well, we have the ability to upload eggs and barbecue sauce right to his house. Oh, interesting. Wow. We're not that clever. Yeah. Oof, I wish. <laughs> Well, let me get serious. Hey, you know, I I do not like to speculate. And I just want to let the audience know, I know there's many, many more users. My wife and my grandson have been using O-Connect for hours and hours a week. And my, my wife just loves the whiteboard. You know, she can put up uh, all kinds of formulas, um, mathematical statements, whatever. And my grandson can download that whiteboard right from there. So just that simple feature is absolutely amazing. And what you brought on was incredible. And then to you know how we have to copy the teacher from the chalkboard or the, you know, the board, right? Okay. We, we, everybody take the, but how yeah. about you take the original, you just grab it. Unbelievable. Yes. Yeah. And, and we've already used that. It, it's amazing. It's wonderful. And, and then he can use that to study. You know, so bingo, you, you've just saved that. And time. you can download images on it now, like the, the coming one. You can download images. So I do do something. I want to insert something, you know, illustrative, okay? And I add an image to it from my library and then do something more. And I expand and maneuver the image. And then I add another image, another graph. So it makes it, whoa, that's a pain. That's a whole portrait of uh, information. And just to copy that will make your life much easier a time saver and and the whole idea of being able to to save your lesson go in dub over it i mean i can remember years and years and years of doing videotapes and trying yeah. to you know cut out and paste in and everything and you're going to be able to do that live yeah and, and the student can download that immediately right for today or for future Unbelievable. And when we throw over without o Academy, you already have an a new university. You have a virtual university without o without o Academy, yeah, just that's like exactly with the what I was gonna capabilities. Say. Exactly. Yeah, it's amazing. And now the feature that you know that I've been hot on with this whole idea of being able to sign on a document like a DocuSign. I I, I think what you're saying is that okay, um, parent. I need you to sign this document. My, your son has to, and daughter, they're going to go on a, uh, um, a, a trip with the, the, this class. And I need your signature so that the student can go. I'm going to upload this document. Please sign it. And then you and I will be able to have that document. Is that true? 100%. You just solved my problem, sir. Thank yeah, you. So, time. for example, it's a Word document. For example, you do do it there, and they can uh, sign, e-sign it, okay, or uh, uh, touch screen device, okay. Okay. You all have okay. it and download it. No more questions. You solved my day. I knew you're gonna love it. I knew. <laughs> I I I was very clear. You're gonna love it. Thank you so much. It's been great. I, I I just can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Well, it is awesome. That's my point. It yeah, is awesome. It, it's already awesome. You're right. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate you. Wow. I, I thought Ash was excited. Look at Daryl go. <laughs> for you, Daryl, man. I love you, brother. Well, we're <laughs> using it every, you know, not in the last three weeks they've been here, but when they're in Bahamas, my wife has been on it every single day for two hours. We max the time out. 
And, you know, we could be really selfish and I can go to one of my son, my grandson's accounts and do it again. But, you know, you take a student. Oh, another thing I wanted to say, the feature where, okay, you, you can take, um, I was going to say, make the, make it a content only or, or name it content uh, presentation, whatever. But do you know how distracted students get? So they, you know, we I, I hide see, everything. Just focus. Yeah, I can on see Georgie the, over here yes. doing this and yes, Peter doing yeah. this. You know. Yes, oh. yes, yes. And so that you're going to force that to be buried away, okay? And yep. focus on on the substance. On on yes. On uh, now, here's the thing. Perfect. I know you love it already. I I, I could feel you, you're getting it, and you know because it's made. From 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 a need, okay. From uh, right. experience, we we I always wished for such a thing, but I want to. I know you probably know this, but I want to remind you, and I want to ex extend the invitation to all of you. You got an idea, just say it, okay? We're working together. You're a part of this and the manufacturing of this revolution. Mm -hmm. So come to us. Tell me, you know what? Add this, okay? Like Susie yeah. said. Okay, make us do our own uh, audio, okay? Uh, add your Risa, yeah, no big, okay. Uh, they just told me the other day, pin the, uh, uh, Chris, remember, in Onet, pin the, the post. If you make a, it's, if you're, if you're a owner of a club. It's, it's in the pipeline. Robin, yes. remember you told me, um, you like also in the podcast, uh, you know, to have a video mm -hmm. pipeline. I don't forget, I take the notes, I do my homework, okay? So you think it, we do it. Wonderful, thank you, Daryl. Ash, check your phone for me real quick anyway, just to see that one. Uh, next, this is a, I'm gonna say a brand new guy who's blown up everyone. Absolutely love him, I love his name. Mr. Tang Manure, come on buddy, unmute yourself. Good evening to everyone. Uh, I'm always happy and proud to be a part of this uh, movement. Okay. Mr. Ash, I believe and I trust your vision and I trust the direction where you're gonna bring this on passive to the next stop. I believe in the products 100%. I'm with you. And you said only God and only ask Mufar can it stop. No, I cannot. On I cannot. I can't. Okay. Only God. Only God. Can it stop this movement? Okay. Now, I have one question that I don't feel comfortable asking, but I know that the truth is always the one that prevails. Okay. Here's my question, Mr. As. I know that someday, somehow, I already got some messages. If they ask me or they show me specifically about this SEC complaint, I want to hear an answer directly from you. So I have the appropriate response or I just ignore these messages. I just want to get the answer from you, Mr. Ash. What, what's the question, thank thank you. You. What's the question about this? The sex? question is if one of these uh, affiliate will ask me or show me, mm. Mr. Tang, what is this all about? What is this SEC? And I want to mm. have an answer directly from you because I just don't want to ignore this person. Uh, I would uh, say, I mean, to, to, to be uh, uh, informative and, and not disrespectful, this yes. is, this is obviously one of the regulators in the country. Not all the countries have this system. They have it here. Uh, and uh, when they receive uh, complaints or somebody snitching somehow, uh, they, need, they need to investigate something, especially when there is uh, money involved or something with a big volume getting a lot of attention. The security exchange means or their focus, and I didn't know this stuff. I, I got to learn, you know, after our interaction, uh, which their their job is to focus on investments. 
people put money and they uh, uh, they expect a, a certain return and re- you know like the uh, uh, stock exchange and things like that. That's their specialty. They need to focus on that. Ironically, in our case, they've gone way beyond that. You know, so that's why they investigate the cryptos or things. You know, of uh, uh, just money thing like that. And I, I, another ironic thing, the other day, uh, 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 Robin asked the question about the name, what does it mean? And they want to persist that it is, it means passive income, never, never been mention, mentioned like ever that is a passive income promise. So they focus on that. Uh, one of their cases are on passive. They investigated us, they requested all the kind of information you want. We've offered access to our platform. We've given them everything you can imagine. Like they could run on passive from the data they have, okay? And we've cooperated and, you know, uh, we've had uh, attorneys been in a dialogue with them and they are in agreement to finish, you know, some documents and all of that. But, you know, uh, they disappointed me today and or yesterday. Uh, they decided to uh, do something without a prior notice, which is odd, unusual. And uh, our head attorney has been in the law enforcement of the uh, SEC for 35 years. This never been done before. That they just basically, uh, I don't want to say cheated or tricked, but maybe you have a better word for that, okay? Uh, they just didn't ethically or professionally coordinate when we have a dialogue. So in a nutshell, say there are professional people who are experts. Ash is not an expert. They deal with that. I My obligation is to abide by the law. My obligation is to do only ethical things and be uh, truthful and, uh, you know, good to, to our audience and our to the public never do any harm. My obligation is uh, to provide all the information uh, that we do uh, or we have. So in a nutshell, this is not uh, something unique to us. Most big companies go through that. Um, There's always, you know, some misinformation. There's always some hate in the market competition. There are a million reasons for you to go through that. So it's not an unusual thing. It's rather unusual not to go through it if you're that big. If you're important, you're going to have to go through this. To me, I don't see why they have gone that step. Uh, it, it's been a private. I previously uh, uh, said, do I, uh, should I share this with my uh, uh, customers and my users? And they said, no, it's, it's a private investigation. But I don't think it's private anymore. So they decided to do that. We're not done. It's, it's still going on. That's their opinion. It doesn't mean it's a, it's a fact. Now, this goes to court and there's a, a jury and, you know, evidences and all of that. Um, they have a big risk of, of doing that because that will affect their career by losing the case. So we have done nothing wrong. Uh, we have no... Uh, uh, shame, uh, but uh, pride in our process. I don't know, maybe you just want to focus on this is a complicated legal process uh, that the company will deal with it. Let's focus on the positivity that the company uh, provides and you know the good values. You're not obligated to give every, everybody all the details I provided you, but I gave you all of that. You get to yeah. choose what you want. In my opinion, I would say this is normal and, you know, they have a, yeah. a very, very sharp legal team and they are passionate to defend us. And this is not, this is not the end. This will go on. Um, and we, uh, we have uh, a talk in court. We will be seeing them in court. Yeah. Uh... So that is, uh, thank you for your answer, Mr. Ash. That is well taken. That is well noted. And as you said, it's Ms. either Mr. you're going to do it or die. Yes. yes yeah, sir. of course. That is always there. I said it in the beginning too. My request to you or, or suggestion to you, do you 
you have a limited time on uh, on earth you said we're believers okay and uh uh we have uh, 24 hours a day or whatever time we have left on earth. Okay, we have a choice to spend it on this, something rather a distraction or negative or somebody evil who's trying to undermine something pure and good for humanity. Or we have a choice to focus on what, what the best we can produce and something that rather pro uh, productive. I advise or I suggest you have to be good at, if you want to grow, you have to let go of the negativity and the distraction and the hate and all of that. I am not going to focus on that. I'm going to only focus on producing good products and technologies and lifting up humanity. That's, that's my focus. Legal team will deal with that, okay? I would cooperate. I give anything. I see Sally Spade here. Go ahead. Come on on the screen. Come on, Sally. Sally, you know what I told you, so come on. Hello, Mr. Mufara. Um, it is actually Queen of Karma here. You might know me from my YouTube channel and from being friends with a woman that goes by the recovering Hunbot who has been covering this scam with me for the last two years extensively. And we might have also, you know, reported you to the IRS and the SEC. I am just wondering sure. why you are refusing to give so many of the O founders back refunds when they have been asking you for them for months. I constantly have people coming to me telling me that you have refused to do this, and I would like you to tell us why. Uh, first of all, thank you for coming here. Uh, I think I think you are uh, uh, behaving in a brave uh, and reasonable way today. Uh, welcome, welcome here. Come all, all the time and talk to us face to face. Okay, uh, we're real and we are here. Now, let me tell you something. Uh, the the refund policy is thirty days. Okay, we have no obligation after the thirty days, and we chose uh, to give a refund to anybody who asks for a refund at any time they choose to walk away for one reason, not because we have to. Because as Ash, ha Ash has this logic, which is, if you don't like me, I don't like you either. If you don't want to be with us, you, we don't want you to be with us too, okay? So for that logic, why am I going to have somebody who is not, you know, excited about this? This is not about $97 or being, you know, uh, a, a profitable transaction for us. It's about us having advocates and supporters and, and real beta testers and people like these intelligent people to give us input and spread the good about on passive. Okay. It's never about the $97 because one session here, it's worth more than $97 value to Ash. So we decided not to ask a question. Okay. If anybody asked for money back. Oh, now I don't believe somebody has Requested and we did not acknowledge. Marina it. is waiting actually right Marina, now. She, Marina has asked you several. Yes. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you, Marina. We can have we can show you the uh, 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 correspondence with her. No, I'm just uh, telling you, Marina. We refunded the accounts that we know for her. At the same time, she blackmailed people, including Chris Johnson, right here. If you don't do this within three days, if you don't respond, and a few others, okay. Now, we gave her the accounts we know that they belong to her, but she has no evidence we did not refund her. We refunded her. Now, we asked her or our legal team, I'm not involved. Do you, do you think I have the time to see this? But our legal team asked her to tell us an, any other account that you manage. If she asks something, the person has to go to the back office, they have access and request a cancellation or a refund. It can happen. She can do it now. If she's real, log in and ask for a refund. We will do it right now. Watch this. If Marina paid for Joe and she's asking for money for Joe, we cannot do that because Joe is the owner. Joe has to request that. But how come, how come we have well over a million people who paid. 800,000, actually, according to the SEC. Well, you just I have 1.12 million okay, accounts. Okay. I, I have the answer for this, Ash. 
for one account of Marina, I paid, and the day she was uh, terminated, I got that refund on into my account, and I I am the Thank evidence for that. I am the yeah. evidence for that. If anybody and about wants to see, I can see you my account here, and I got that uh, ninety seven dollar back here. Yes, Simple. please do send that to me. Actually, my email is on Sally. my channel. Okay, sure you're also, so the 800, uh, even though I'm asked not to uh, provide details because that's also going to show our strength. The court um, documents are, are public. The SEC's but, lawsuit with you but it, for but it's 108 not million, it's public. But the it's not SEC accurate. The SEC does not Gross Mender by himself has their... more than close to that number. Gross Mender by himself. Yeah, he has Just... over 2,000 accounts. I'm well aware of Gross Mender. We're both Canadian. No, 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 no. Well. He has way more than that. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's... And that's listen. fraud, sir. Listen, listen. That's why the SEC's We asking. have... Sally, we listen have... to what he's saying, Sally, please. But you don't have, have to be cynical. I am giving you, listen, if you are going to be respectful and ask proper questions, you're not an SEC, you're not a lawyer, okay? And you shouldn't be coming to defend Marina. Who is Marina Favit before on passive? On passive made her. Do you know well, her? Well, she was someone that wasn't getting scammed along with everyone else that has But she's no here. one. You started this on June her. No, of no, no, 2018. No. I tell you what. I she was actually what. a real estate agent before you guys stole her from that and then brought her into this company. She's just one, though. Of Listen, if you're going to say one more disrespectful of word. People that have come to me and told me that you're referring. I muted her because Sally, if you're going to be disrespectful and tell me you stole and all that, I didn't respect you. I told you, thank you. You're being brave. That's a courageous step for you. If you want to have a professional conversation, welcome. I didn't steal anybody. Nobody dragged her from South Africa to be with. I'm just telling you, Marina, nobody knows her, but in on passive. Okay. She would be, God bless her. And I'm not against her. The only way she, uh, she got this comfortable because she starts scamming people and other things that were, were went down. On passive is not going down. That's well, the only business. Oh, oh, by, the, by the way, why, that's why the only business. Happy? That's the only business she's been into and still standing tall and still going. Okay, so the the the, the reason SEC is has because found you to be she a pyramid was, scheme, though right. they consider no, they did that not to find, be They did not find. Okay. You're not a lawyer, and you you're not the SEC. They did not find me. That's an allegation, and I said publicly, I disagree with that. Court will decide that. I'm not a pyramid scheme. I'm going to change your life, including you, and you're going to be uh, using my products. You will use Ash Mufar's products and inventions. I will never use your products. You'll see. I will never you'll join see. on passive. You'll see. You'll see. Sally, why aren't you showing your face? If you well, a passive doesn't need somebody with your caliber or your uh, character, but I'm just saying we have inventions. They are life-changing and it's going to be difficult for you to avoid them but i feel sorry for you and for the way you think because you could be more productive and you could go along with us and win oh i'm uh, very productive i've shut down quite a few of the bad websites out here such as what's going to happen to yours very soon via the okay. sec but you I have, have been I have found bad to news be for a you. pyramid I have, scheme I have bad by the you. SEC. You're they have lose. said you're a pyramid scheme. That's that's only that's only an allegation, okay? And that's not the, proven. Can you define pyramid scheme, by the way? Sally, can you define pyramid scheme? I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Well, a pyramid scheme is like what you guys are doing, where people have to constantly come in and pay money in order to join on to something. You guys haven't made any money in here. Okay. You've can all we, been dedicating can we, can we five move, years of your life, can we just and you have on? not made one can cent. There's on? no commission plan. You don't have uh, Sally, you're giving her a platform. Listen, there is, no there is, commission there is, plan, listen, no business listen, plan. Sally, please, please listen one thing. Why are you worried about our money? We are here, simple. We love on passive, and we are standing with Mr. S. What's there for you to come well, here? And... You should. You should. It's a but, mistake but, for but, you, Chris, to give her a platform. Okay, she. I you, thought she's going to be professional and disrespectful. Thank you. My, now my we badass. we're going to make her a star like Marina. Okay, but she is a, a, a lost soul, and she's. A, but the the the, she's Ash, from a Ash, the the fact that she's stating she's stating that the SEC has found you, found yeah. you to be this. They have found you. 
right? And she that just is a, that is an incorrect. That is an incorrect statement. So the fact that she believes that it just shows the level of intelligence that she has. So we should not okay. be entertaining this. Let's move forward. Let's move on. I was going to educate her, but she just said and confessed she's one of the many that have. Uh, <laughs> like Marina and others who has complained about us. So I told you they're, they're haters, okay? But uh, I wonder what's her solution? What's her uh, uh, <laughs> productive uh, plan for the millions we have? It's a big mistake to give a loser platform. So I, I told I, you- My bad, to, Ash. Yeah. I thought maybe she'd be more personal. I, I told the person that said she's going to come on, I said, be respectful. We're going to remove But do you her. see the amount of hate? Oh, yeah. Okay. There's nothing good Oof. about that. Yeah. Well, that's no. good because... But, but Marina could have been with us now and talking yeah. about her future, you know, uh, positive uh, future, but she lost, uh, she, she chose the losers yeah, like uh, this uh, spade lady. And now look where she is. Do you think they're going to win? <laughs> we all know. We all know. They have to say something. This person has not even done her study. She has no clue what she's talking about. Pyramid, obviously you don't know zero about uncasting. At yeah. least do your study before you come and trash somebody. I mean, uh, you're right. That's how I wanted to educate her about Pyramid. I, I wish they let her speak so I can educate her. I Who was next her picture, right? <laughs> for the questions? Move, Chris, back on. to business. Back My to business. beautiful sister, Jean, show us what a lady really sounds like. Go ahead. Yes. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Ash. Um, I, you know, I have absolute unshakable faith in this, and I don't, I don't do that without a basis. I, I feel the presence of something massive in this. And I felt it the first time I ever heard your voice. I have no doubt this is going to change the world. And if we didn't have uh, monsters rearing up their ugly heads against us, then we really couldn't call ourselves disruptive because we're not just making disruptive digital products and solutions. We're disrupting everything. We're disrupting the way things are done and they are going to rear up and they are going to fight us and we're going to win because we're, we're made of love and love will win period. So that's, that's my feeling on that. And I have some other thoughts, Chris, I'll talk to you about later, but um, the, questions oh, sorry i got my fire up got my fire up um just a couple quick questions because most of them have already been answered ash uh, people ask phenomenal questions and julie i loved your ai question about finding the speaker in the recording because if the if, the, if um if O Connect is picking up who is speaking, you know, it's highlighting the speaker, then it knows who's speaking in that moment. And so it should, at some point, the AI should be able to learn to pick up, oh, this is when Julie spoke and this is when John spoke. You know what I mean? So I love that idea. It was really unique. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I just had some quick ones. One, my first original question was with the um, speech to text, and the recap function, is the first release going to have sort of a basic recap function of just the full recording, or will it, at, in the first release, be able to do the bringing it down to 20 minutes, to five minutes, to what, you know what I mean? That is that going to be available right away, or will we have to wait a bit? Thank you, Jean. I appreciate you. And I know you have more uh, beautiful thoughts. Uh, I agree. That is a good, good uh, thing. I uh, I just got the idea from Julie. I just got the idea how to instruct it to the team to identify by the facial recognition, which is something we have in Overify. You go figure, okay? And if if we match, compile all the content from that, it's it's a, it's a crazy add-on feature. I don't know how useful or needed it is, okay? But let's say it identifies Gene and anything Gene, 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 you know, with that face, facial, you know, uh, image, uh, it compiles that in one place. It, it is possible. I already got the thought how to do it. But is it really going to be uh, productive or needed? Let's see how soon they do that. As far as yeah. um, the, but, but we're going to put it there and see, you know, how much needed, okay. Uh, but on the other side, uh, the recording, the first 
round now, we're going to have the full file. And uh, there is a video recap and text recap in the pipeline. And this is going to give us like three sizes, like small, big, medium, OK? OK. Uh, of, of each one, so depending on the content. But to specify the minute, I don't think uh, that's already uh, you know, a, a plan. That's uh, pro probably another level. If it's not satisfactory to us, like to have three sizes of the recap, uh, we will uh, we will probably add like we define the time and the size of the recap, whether it's text or uh, video. Okay, great. And uh, another question, which is really important to me because I love the prompter function. Mm. Right now, it's sort of is static on the page. Like, is there going to be a way to click and drag it? out of the out of the way like right now it's it kind of comes up and at least in my experience it comes up in a certain spot and i know sometimes i kind of want to get past it or see you know because it does have sort of a which one a, gra which one? a grayness Jeez. the prompter box oh the prompter yeah uh, and we okay click and I'll, drag I'll, it. I'll make it a drag a draggable okay and then my last thing was um just for uh, peter had said presentation view for the um the con I thought maybe just content view or content only, you know, something just really basic as a as a name for having the presentation only up on yes. the screen. We already have that. So. Yeah. Awesome. And that's it. We're with you, Ash. Love you. Ash, can I Love come in between? Thank you so much. Ash? Yes. Uh, yes. Geez. So yeah, please, uh, Gerspender, oh. I don't want you to spend time on nonsense. Okay. Yeah, just we I know who's, because... who's Marina. And we know the yeah. refund policy on our passive, and we know why she was terminated. And if we spend time on that with thousands of people, how good would it do for us? Okay, we yeah, know Ash Mukara, uh, and we uh, know the spade lady, what? or we know the uh, uh, you know uh, Marina lady, and she could have been uh, winning. The reason she got in violation, okay, is because she was spamming the uh, the, the people. So we embraced her in our passive in our community and the founders and she violated that and as a part of violation we should even i mean i get in a in a in a debate with the team especially the legal team when they say when somebody in violation we're terminating them you still want to give them refund i said don't refund until you give don't terminate until you give refund and everybody knows that uh so that is not going to change i hope we don't spend time on it Okay. I and just want to give show her that more... transaction. Just want to show that transaction that on sure. May May 19, 2023, I got uh, that refund because I paid for her ID. Because you, yeah, it goes back to the source of payment. We click yes. refund so, and the payment gateway put it back on the same card. Absolutely. And we lose. We lose the transaction because we paid So the first first lie, first lie first lie which they are uh, uh, telling. So this is the proof of that uh, that they are telling. But, but that's why the lawyers are wise to tell me not to give this information away. We'll we'll do it in court, and we're gonna win. Okay. And I think it's a mistake to give uh, evil a stage. We're gonna magnify that, and we're gonna give them a spotlight. It's a big mistake. We should give people who are with a good intention, they want to help and they have a pure. If you are really genuine and curious and you really want answers, like we're so real and we are going to give you that. But to come out of nowhere and accuse and you're being a, a, a defense lawyer for somebody you're not related to and your, uh, your sole goal is just to get popularity and piggyback, uh, piggyback on, on famous uh, strong companies, yeah, I'm sure there are some bad companies, but Unpassive is not one of them. It's actually the best company. And I guarantee I'm going to say this, okay, there will be products in Unpassive that can change her life and she would want to want them. And she will apologize for misbehaving right now. Because there there are some people are on the blacklist of Unpassive. I'm not talking about digital products, by the way. So uh, they have no clue. Let's focus on what's productive. Thank you, Gersmender, for speaking up. Even that's a volunteer information. We should uh, have it, you know, in the background. Uh, but uh, but I, I love the the questions today, Jean. Uh, that's another one. I I actually wanted to drag it and reposition it, 
and I just didn't give it attention, but you are definitely more um, alert than me. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see if we are gonna need to have a specific size, like, you know, whether it's a text, like give me a page or give me 500 characters or something. That is probably too complex and advanced I don't know if we're if we're gonna need that, but but if something you know that is an hour, so let's say that's a hundred percent sixty minutes. Give me small that's ten minutes or six minutes. Medium is thirty minutes or in between. I think that's probably gonna cover it, which is already an extra value. All right, who is ready for another clever question? Jerry Dursaway, unmute yourself, my sister. Woohoo! I say, let's move on. I say, I'm here to show and support to change our world, what you made it about, Ash. And I am on board to be one of your Mother Teresas, along with so many more. So that's that. And then I do have two questions. Um, <clears throat> The first one is, I know this one sounds kind of crazy, but I kind of think of the kids or just interactive with it. It's one I haven't shared with uh, anybody yet, but because um, I just thought of it. So, you know, on the whiteboard, um, if there's a way to make a little section there to put like sounds, I think it would be kind of cool for the kids or even adults. Let's say I'm drawing like a spaceship. And I can make like a little spaceship sound on it. Or would that just go back to using that little prompter in the other section that you talked about that we use the little sounds? Do you know what I'm saying? Of course, you probably, I'm not sure if you would be able to get the sound when somebody, well, yes, you probably if, could. If I can interject, I think she's talking about like a, 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 a sound animation animation along with your um picture drawing on the whiteboard is that correct sherry yes that is correct no oh, yeah um we don't have it uh, if your question is if we have it but is it possible to add uh, like uh tunes you mean in yeah like if you draw sound. a spaceship kind of think mm. it would be kind of cool they have for the kids and even mm. adults that are sitting in a meeting like type of thing mm. that's and. one thing and I have another one when you're ready. Sure. So I am fired up. This is gonna be amazing. It's already amazing. The things that you guys have created, all the team. Um, wow, I'm just blown away. But the sound, the sound you, thing. You know, Sherry, also uh, for the, um, we have something like that in the, uh, which is uh, then I, I find it is already created that technology, but we just have to integrate it with the whiteboard, okay? Which is on the timer, so we have that timer alarm when the countdown reaches, you know, I think like six, ten seconds, for example. So it tells both the host and the timed person. It tells them that okay. Uh, running out of time or there's that uh, sound alarm. So the same technology, we can integrate it with the, uh, but obviously different sounds with the whiteboard. Yeah. Wow, that'd be so cool. I, I was thinking of the kids at one point too, you know, kind of more interactive type of thing or even yeah. adults actually. And then my second question is, um, this probably, you may have said something about this before or I, I just think, you know how we cannot, some people don't know how to pronounce other people's names when they're in the yes. meeting or coming on to me. Right. If there's some way to like uh, let the AI pronounce their name correctly, like my name is very hard to pronounce. Not, not that I care if anybody pronounces it correctly, yeah. my last name. If there's something oh, in there. Uh -oh, that's going to be difficult for technology. That's like probably better changing your name than <laughs> or easier than <laughs> teaching the machine how to say it. I don't know, uh, Sherry, that let's think of a, an easier way than yeah. uh, our names are more human. So let's keep them uh, that way. But, but I can tell you something about the names. Uh, you can click on the screen like your name right now, no, like you see it where it is right now. Mm -hmm. And you can backspace and type it on the screen. Okay. 
same thing, host and co-host can do that. Wow, that's so okay. cool. So uh, it would uh, it would be like uh, dynamic. You don't have to go to the settings or anything. Oh, so I'm, I'm excited about hearing about all the other amazing things that you mentioned already, like uh, Oh Joy and some of these other ones, but um, I know we'll get there. So I'll let somebody else have a turn, but I know you, Ash, you, oh, you don't like to think negative. So I'm kind of with you on that page too. I just kind of keep moving forward, keep moving forward. So we are on a mission here and we will not stop. This mission is driven by a higher power. And you, the person, anybody out there, I have to say this, and I know everybody knows I'm going to say it. If, if you, you got to know you're important. I don't care if what anybody's called you, you are important and you do matter in this world. I love you. And so does the world. And you are, you are a miracle in this world. Thank you so much, Ash. You are definitely a miracle and your wife and family. Thank love you, you guys. Love, peace. You, Sherry. Thank you. We love you too. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Uh, oh boy. Here he comes. My second favorite in India, Niraj. Come on, Niraj, unmute yourself. 14 questions coming at you, Ash. Uh, no, it's only three this time. So, uh, Ash, my first question was about the feature that you talked about was the noise cancellation. Now, noise cancellation, is it uh, some uh, like a, just a check mark that you must do and it will cancel? Or is there a customized, uh, like, okay, you want to do noise cancellation up to this level, then this level, then this level. So is it Ooh, a custom? That's, that's a good one. So far, we have one setting of noise cancellation, okay? It's already integrated with uh, o Connect only, and that will just, anything above, like it recognizes your speak, and I think it, what the machine does, it reads your first few seconds of your voice, and anything out that ra radiance, okay, uh, it blocks it automatically. So, uh, uh, so far we just have one setting, but I'm wondering why would I need like half noise? I'm, I'm trying to think with you, Neeraj. Like why do I don't need it quite to block, to, to noise cancel completely? Why am I gonna need, well, I don't wanna completely block your noise. I want some of you, like give me a little bit of noise. Come on. I think it doesn't make sense. What do you think? It's a background noise. It's a background noise that you're blocking. Yeah, yeah. It's only background. Your voice is going to be there. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I, I told you, like, you know, we have one setting, but I was trying to think if I need to give that note. But I think they will uh, uh, laugh at me. What do you think? I'm just thinking loud with you. Like, why am I going to tell them, give me a setting that will give a little noise, not too much. What, what Neeraj is, uh, is asking or proposing somehow that we should have different levels of no, noise cancellation, like 100% noise cancellation. So cancel any noise in the background beyond your voice and have another setting like a medium one, for example, a little bit of noise and have one like more noise. So do you get it? Ash, might yeah, I? I get it. I get it. It, it well, might work. Well, I, no, I just want to interrupt and say, like noise or no noise, yeah. So, but what, what about in PNG when, like, say, David Bacow would have everybody gathered around him, hmm. and we could hear them? So that would yeah. be a case. So Not that I want to put that on your noise. team, but yeah, yeah, no, but no, then that's they a, would be there. Yeah, but that's well, keep it normal or cancel. If you cancel, it's only the speaker's voice. Okay. And uh, if you keep it natural and you have a live event, that's a good point, Gene. Um, I want the reaction of, a, of an event in uh, Germany, in uh, UK. But Neeraj, I, I think you agree with me. I don't think we want to make like different levels, right? Yeah. Just okay. either block it or no block it, yeah. Um, it uh, it was just uh, a question whether the user has uh, maybe control over it or it's uh, because then you can customize it. <laughs> so, yeah, but also, Gene, you have, and, and Neeraj, you have, uh, you know, the background um, music track or whatever uh, theme 
the sound, okay? Uh, you can customize the volume. I can have a little more, okay? So let's say you have, you don't wanna block the background, but you just wanna inject a little bit of uh, whether music or some uh, uh, track music, okay? Uh, as presentation or something. And uh, you can control the volume of that. And whatever you do as a host, okay? It will affect and it will be on everybody's device. It will uh, lower the volume or uh, increase the volume for your audience as well. Thank you very much. Uh, second question was the uh, rich resounds. Can we add our own for some kind of music in that? For example, uh, there's a pop song called Are You Ready? And then uh, you could act actually add that and maybe yes uh, that's what uh, Susie suggested Neeraj yeah, uh, yeah. The it, is, it is being it is okay. being integrated so they worked on it and uh, it's either going to be the first or the second release yeah yeah and uh, the last question was about the speech to text you said that uh, 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 speech to text, uh, you said that it is much more accurate than other, uh, since you have listened, uh, you have used other video conferencing softwares and you have used OConnect. So can you maybe pinpoint some differences? I know it is more accurate that that's what you said, but if you could uh, give examples of that, <laughs> if any. Yeah, uh, so for example, you know, Apple has, uh, you can have voice recognition or most smartphones, right? You could talk, open the speaker, and as you talk, it will do that. Uh, in my experience, some of them are um, either there's a lag and we get in trouble a lot. It, so I'm driving and I like, you know, somebody important, I need to reply to them, but I cannot talk. So I will leave a text and I, I cannot text. So leave a quick message, especially if there's a headset or a Bluetooth in the car, whatever, okay. Uh, it's mostly inaccurate. So it's, it's helping a little, but I cannot rely on it because I have to check and often it has mistakes in the typing. So I'm, you know, no matter what device you're talking from, it does not really type what you say. There's a speed problem. And then sometimes it's behind. You said so much. And sometimes it hears something away. OK. And it's as like a child talking and this and that or a TV. OK. And it became like a chaotic text. OK. So this is my experience so with the most technologies I've had so far. And the most recognizable one, you're going to see it when you talk, is going to become, uh, it's, it will be condensed together, the whole text. You don't know when there's a stop or something. Uh, with our technology for the first time, I feel it is super accurate. Like I haven't seen a mistake so far with any breath you say, it's exactly what you're saying on the dot. So it's not ahead of you, it's not behind. You don't have to repeat. So it's really easy. How many times you've heard somebody fighting with Siri? She, okay, she, like she's saying something dumb and like, you know, so it's, it's, a, it's a weak voice recognition. It's not taking the right uh, command. And when we, uh, uh, we, we experience uh, on passive uh, in OConnect so far, it is, as, as accurate as you talk and not ahead of you, not before, and nothing come condensed. It comes with punctuations. Like it has a question mark. If you sound like uh, Neeraj, how are you? It puts a question mark and then a dot and a comma and all that. It breaks the sentences. And then you, you stop, hi Neeraj, how are you doing? Send, did you see my brief pause? It will send. I didn't type send, I didn't click that. So it's amazing. And then it stops the microphone until you wanna enable it again. 
So it is accurate, it's fast, it's with punctuation. It's, I can count on it. We're going to have less incidents with it. Thank you very much, Ash. That's that were the all the questions I had. Perfect for now. But think about the noise cancellation. If it makes sense to you, maybe you can explain it to me, and I'll talk to the team. But I feel I will be <clears throat> looking looking dumb if I tell them give me levels of noise cancellation. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Naraj, for now. I like how he answered that. Ah, oh. <laughs> Charles Osan, come on back, man. All right. Thank you. Couple of questions this time, but I think they're going to be short. The first one is to kind of piggyback on what uh, Gosminda asked earlier. I, I know that we have the first three months we have a bundle, and Ash, I think you mentioned that we could either pay all at once. Everybody's getting a refund, yeah. All at once or monthly, right? I know we're going to pay a lower amount, founders, because of uh, the refund. So, are we going to have the option? to make that one-time payment or split it in three months or, I mean, is that optional? After, after the three months in O-Connect, yes, you're going to have that option. Oh, so the first, first, the first one is only months. quarterly, which is 90 days, three months, the first right. time, only the first time. Right, but my question after, is, which is, make... which is an exception. It's just like the, the, uh, the, the launch, you know, uh, uh, package. After that, we go to, Back to normal in O Connect, monthly, uh, quarterly, right. and, and annually. So I get that. So my question is, do we pay all at once for the first yeah. three months? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if all you right. choose that, that will save you money, right? That obviously, what what's the reason you want to do that? Uh, two reasons. You want to ensure that your subscription is always active. You know, it doesn't affect your business. Uh, you're going to have to do that like monthly and all of that, whatever the funds you manage. That, that, uh, that's for secondly is uh, when you pay quarterly, obviously you get a little discount. Okay. And, but when you do it annually, it, it can be a very good, uh, uh, you know, exciting discount. Okay. Thanks. And the second question is, uh, I know we have uh, backward compatibility. I mean, all connect with the device. So let's say, we have up to 8, 8K speed with our own devices, but a lot of devices out there, like what I have is 4K speed, and some may have less than 4K, and the device or all connect is gonna ping the device like in nanoseconds to find out the speed, and then it's backward compatible, is that correct? Now, for the resolution of the resources, I wanna say network resources, bandwidth, Mm. Is it also going to do that for the bandwidth? Not from O-Connect. That's a, an upcoming technologies when we're talking about uh, internet connectivity and uh, 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 you know O-Virtual, like the VMP. Uh, so, for example, you can go through on passive data center or uh, cloud connectivity to boost your connection, but not in O-Connect. Okay. Okay. All right, cool, got it, thanks. Of course. Oh. You and... Talk? Yes, sir, I'm done. Go ahead, Ash, I'm sorry. No, that's it, okay. I was gonna open another product, but let, let them ask first. All right. Uh, Miss Ava Diaz, another beautiful sister. Come on. Ava, how are you? Unmute, unmute, Ava. There you go. Good evening, Ash. Um, it's wonderful to see you uh, and be with you here. Um, I don't know. I always get nervous uh, when talking <laughs> with you. Um, I just want you to know on Oak Connect that we are having, the, uh, normally we put the pictures on the top. We have to uh, come out of it and then again come back in and then we put the pictures on the top. Will that be um, 
possible with or connect, uh, you know, to put it once and for all with us having to do it? Are you saying the title? Uh, no, the pictures, the titles are there. Uh, no, like, the picture, oh, when... you mean, okay, you're talking about uh, the speaker's pictures. Only the speaker's pictures will show. Uh, no, all the pictures, like host, co-host, and everybody who yeah, is there. Yeah, those are speakers. It, uh, it only shows up to 25. The rest, right. if you go to the details, but not necessarily the pictures, is going to show names and flags. Okay. And if you don't know the flag, you hover on the flag. Yeah. It's going to tell sure. you India or uh, Bangladesh or something. So okay. the the pictures, because this is integrated right now, you have to put the picture, but the one that you're going to have is integrated with the ecosystem. So it will take the picture from your profile and have it there. So you don't have to put it not even once. It's just like one time especially if you're verified, it will be in your uh, uh, profile. And and now that will show and populate in your O-mail, in your O-net, anywhere you have a profile or picture, it will show it, including O-connect. Okay, thank you. I have one more no problem. Uh, question. Um, you said the cards will be available for India. Will it also be available for Bangladesh? Of course, we're working in all countries, but I'm saying that no, like it's already, yeah, of course, yeah. Immediately, it will it will be available for Bangladesh as well, right? Yeah. I didn't say that, okay? I'm saying- No, no, I'm asking, I'm India, asking. It will be yeah. available for Bangladesh. We're gonna have no country left behind, you know, to, to our ability. We're working mm -hmm. in countries that are not even strong enough and passive. Okay. But and it's, it's a you? process to onboard them, Ava. Okay, so for example, like Brazil and Colombia and uh, there's some African countries are not even that strong in our passive. But because we know it's a process, we're preparing, you know, working on them now. It takes months, each country, okay? So, uh, but India, because it's been a while, so it's, it's almost there. By the next have... payment of... Uh, of O Connect, uh, they should have cards. But I'm not um, sure if, if the team, because we're not clear if we're gonna open it for whichever country is available, because they're not gonna mm -hmm. come out all at once. So would we decide we're gonna make sure that all countries are available and then launch the cards or mm -hmm whichever ready go live with it. So that's that's a good uh, conversation. Thank you, Ash. What, what, just Bangladesh is gonna say, why India? What about us, right? <laughs> no. And then Canada gonna say, what about us? And this and this. so, well, that's that's a process not in our hand. It's, it's complex. Yeah. Lots of papers and uh, regulations and compliance, but you get the point. We're going to include everybody, and Bangladesh sure. should have it. Yeah. Sure. Well, just one more last question, and I. Okay, go. I'm ready. Okay. As, <laughs> can we transfer the emails from other platforms immediately when we get our email email uh, uh, addresses, like the, our contacts? Do yeah, we, have we, to do we don't have that, but we could, okay? So we are laser focused on O-Connect right now. Let's roll it out. And then I'm going to be telling you, come on, give me all your wish list in O-Net, in O-Mail. And we're going to perfect it and go to the next one, okay? But uh, that's, that's a good point when we tell you, okay, now anything you want, uh, it's it's a, a good thought. We always thought about it, like to import our contacts from another uh, email platform. Sure, why not? It's possible. We don't have it now. Okay. Thank you so much, Josh. And like we always say, we believe in you. I believe in you. And we're thank always you. standing by you. And thank, thank you. you so much. And you're really an angel sent from thank heaven. Thank you.
for us. So You're very thank kind. you, Ash. We work so thank hard to make it better for you and the millions. That's obvious. Yeah. Thank you. You have uh, um, um, the people in your heart, so you can never be wrong. Never. So thank you. Thank you so much, Ash. Thank you, Ava. Next, Lynn Nakamoto. Unmute yourself there, lady. Got it. Hi, Ash. Hello. <laughs> All right. Uh, I love Jean's suggestion of the movable prompter. And in addition to that, would there be a possible to change the size of the prompter box? For those with low vision, they can adjust the size of the box itself. In addition- I got it, I got it, uh, Lynn, thank you. Make sure. a big difference for deaf blind. Drag. Deaf, yeah, deaf blind would appreciate it as well. Also, for any time there appears a font, for example, there's font in the chat, uh, there's font in the captions. If there would be a way to adjust the size of the font as well as the color of the font, it will make a huge difference for deaf, blind, and low vision because yeah. they need high contrast between the font and the background, and they can adjust it. So, Lynn, uh, right now we have that ability to have. Uh... Uh, to control the thickness in the whiteboard, for example, and the size, you can drag and drop the text, okay? Uh, that's one place. Another place is the ticker. We can bold, italic, things like that. And where else? Um, uh, talk to me. What else? Oh. The chat uh, itself, the chat. Yeah, but, but I, I'm trying to think. The push link and all of those. Push a link, call to okay. action, all of those. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to to tell you what I always think. I I always think sometimes less is more. Okay, and and the more you add, it it becomes a heavier load, and there is more into it. Even if somebody or the vast majority, let's say ninety percent or ninety five percent of the users base never use that. Okay, but then you got to couple percent they want to play around it and then you go ahead and complicate the entire application so i'll tell you what okay i took the note okay to control and manage the the font size where is possible okay but without overloading the system is that fair enough yes it's good how about font color is that something that yeah uh connected? that is already in the ticker you can oh, have good. different okay and where else uh, the uh, the call to action, as uh, Jean said? Okay, it's already there. You can choose a different color, okay. and boldness and thickness and all that's already there. Okay, uh, but uh, font size, lists, yeah, uh, we have that. Believe it or not. So in the ticker, we have different font style. You know the type of the font that you're using. Yes. There are just a handful, not not two hands, one hand, okay, and um, header and you know smaller, bigger. So that's already there. And where is that also? The prompter in the prompter, you can select the size. So it's already there in the size in the prompter. Really? It's already there. The wow. prompter, the boldness, and the mm -hmm. font style. Now tell me when you see it. Tell me where else you want to apply the same. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, that's fair. Um, as the next thing is the highlighting of comments. As you know, with Roblin Live, we do spotlight comments, and people love that that we acknowledge. Yeah, yeah, the comments. yeah, yeah. And I was wondering if there could in be in the chat. Future. Yes, because when we start utilizing O Connect, we still want to be able to highlight. Yeah, so this is one thing. So I like the, uh, uh, what we uh, uh, nailed, I believe, the uh, Q&A session, okay? It's similar to the chat, but I like that you can open that and people type their questions and you click play. So I like uh, Lynn's question. I like Jean's question. I click play. It becomes, it 
it posted for everybody. I can choose one at a time or five at a time. So I, you know, make room for one. I address one. So I like it's done. You uh, exit and then you make room for uh, number another one. Okay, so you can handle that, and it kind of it showcases the text. That technology uh, is also uh, useful to be implemented in the chat. So to highlight and display specific chat. Thank you. We but have, technically uh, the technology is there, yes. Thank you so much. This is a rather big thing, but um, it would make a difference to anyone that utilizes sign language, whatever country they're from. Currently the webinar platforms that exist today are sound-based. So the yeah. AI and the camera focuses on an individual when they utter mm. something or when there's a sound. But with deaf, deaf blind, et cetera, mm. they're using sign language. They're not using their voice. So is there a way for the technology and the AI to focus on the signing hand and differentiating the signing hands from someone just waving to someone? You know, it's the actual language comes in the hands. So would AI be able to focus on the hands and pan to that individual? Yes. Sound. Yeah, so this is again, this is one of the uh, biggest uh, goals we have to, to go over the motion and the avatar, which is in the pipeline already, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, just the only challenge we have is how to standardize the motion of the sign language. Okay. And remember, we said in August, after the beginning of August, we have a big bomb coming from the AI section. Uh, okay. So this is intact. This is also, um, you know, something that, that is just about to be rolled out. It's just the arrangement and press releases and all of that which is something new, okay? It's gonna be, uh, I would say, disrupting the media uh, sector, mm -hmm. which is very promising and we love it. And that's another exciting service that we have. Mm -hmm. And we already have governments that ordered it, okay? Just from the sketches they've seen and the demo. Thank you. Um, quick one is that, um, right now, where the person's name appears, let's say I'm I'm on the O Connect and my name is there, it appears in the area where people sign. So the deaf were telling me that the name of the person blocks their signing because it's right where people sign. So is mm. there a possibility of not moving it for everyone, but maybe letting the deaf consumer or deafline consumer move it? Not everybody needs to move it, but this big society part of society they it's blocking their signing you know because mm. it's right in that yeah area um that's that's a definitely it's more of a look and feel uh lynn and i would uh focus more on coming up with the whole concept and then we can play with the display drag and drop like for example for example the user the attendee can probably select the the mode and if they choose that, then they have control of where to drag the okay. the, the the digital avatar uh, sign person. Thank you. Um, this that panel at the top that shows your co-host, your host, people who have raised their hand. Is there a possibility of shrinking it so that the area where people are talking is bigger so that we can have bigger space for signing because the squares right now are very tiny. It's really difficult to see a person signs. So if we could shrink the top, mm. make it smaller, it would give the panel yeah. of the boxes that would be bigger for everybody to be sure. signing on. You got it. Like I said, uh, Lynn, that's already done. Okay, so we mm. already have different views and you have one of them is um, uh, full screen even when the host chooses full screen it makes it full for everybody so it cleans up anything from the side and here and there and the focus would be just you're seeing the view of the speakers oh, okay great. The things. it's already thank there thank you two just two more things the timer right now uh when it goes down to 
so many seconds, only the, the person being timed and the host can see it, right? And at the timer at the end that tells you how many seconds are left of the, the webinar, only the host sees it. Is there a way for the whole, all everyone to see that there's 30 seconds left of the webinar so then people can wind down and say bye-bye or you know what I'm saying? Because it, it kind of ends abruptly and you don't really know exactly when it's going to end. So more like user-friendly and- Yeah. Um, so, you know, we have the timer per person, but you probably want to put a timer like as a countdown to the end of the session. Like you want to yeah. put five minutes to close it out. Yeah, so that everyone sees it, not just the host. You're a picky, selective lady, okay? You are very, very meticulous about what you want. I'm going to add it to the list. I think it's already there, oh, okay? okay? And uh, so that we have the timer, but instead of... Uh, having a display for one, we can display it for everybody. Is that fair? Display the yeah, timer. You know how mm -hmm. the calculator and all that. But here's the thing, Lynn. Mm -hmm. Do you also propose to automatically close out the session when it expires, like to end it, or just a reminder, but you still have the, the click on the on the end session? It could be either way. Whatever. I don't I'm not that picky on that part, but mm -hmm. Just as long as people see it, visually see it, so everybody knows. And even for like the individual timers for when you're timing a specific person in the webinar, nobody else knows that the person's time expired except the host and the person, right? So if the whole yeah. group knew, that would be, I think. I, I think it's a bit of kind of, how do I say it? I don't want to say disrespectful, but uh maybe a distraction like why everybody should be the time the person that matters to them they should just see the time and it's it's, it's a friendly thing you're okay. not going to sue them you're not going to shoot them right they just yeah. they go another second it's just a friendly reminder so i'm thinking if we display it and now all the eyes are on the timer oh, come on are we thinking of what they're talking yeah 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 okay that uh, makes so but mm -hmm. but let me ask you, Lynn, and I, and I appreciate this is this is a part of the value that we get from our true founding members and uh, uh, loyal uh, leaders. This is the feedback that is priceless that will make our products better. We revamp them and make them even more useful, more valuable to all of us. Everybody gave us an input tonight it will have a positive addition and uh, impact on, on the products. So thank you, Lynn, and everybody else. This is, you know, uh, you have no idea how many pages it's, it's filling, okay? Yeah. And that's more work. I'm not promising this will be done tomorrow, but, but it will be done. You know how it is. Yeah, and my final comment was on the background noise suppression. You said, why would there be different levels of suppression? And I was thinking about when someone, let's say you go to Niagara Falls or you go to PNG to do a bird watching tour, yeah. there might be times that you would want to go live and, sh and show the background sounds because that's what you're there for. Your Niagara Falls, the, the, yeah. the roaring of then the Then don't put the know? noise cancellation. Yeah, just keep it. And whatever your mic picks up, okay, you yeah, do that. Mm -hmm. It's just as long as we can enable it and disable it. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah. let's see that. And and again, uh, I told you, I'd like to think about it before I go and embarrass myself um, with the team. Just let's think about it between us. Okay. And uh, if we believe there is a use for it, we'll, uh, we'll put it under work. Thank you. So and think I about it, uh, uh, Lynn. Okay. So, you know, we have the timer. Okay, mm -hmm. and we have, which is we're displaying that. So the same thing, I think we just add a timer, but that's for everybody, the same timer. And we can make it, you know, it's the timer is a countdown. So the same thing, we can do it for everybody. What do you think? So just make one for yeah. a specific speaker, mm -hmm. which you need to select them, or for everyone. So yeah. it's just add in one factor, which is for everyone. Yeah. That would be the same spot. You know, another timer we have, it's already in the call to action. Right? 
So it's already there. So how we package it. But if you want something so big, loud, like a whole different concept, uh, hey, we're ending in five minutes and the countdown, uh, you let me know. But if it's enough to have a countdown for everybody. Okay, thank you. And and for um, the deaf um, users within OnPassive, they are very eager for you to hear their feedback. There's quite a few um, things that they would prefer to be improved or adjusted to make O-Connect differently or de more differently than it is right now. Mm. So there's, there's quite a bit. I, I, it's not appropriate to bring it up here, but there is quite a bit of uh, things that they would like. So other than like the sign language, avatar, closed yeah. caption, more, more than, than that, that they, they, okay. There's a lot. There's like a bunch more. Then it's let's fine. have a separate one. And that would be uh, maybe on passive wide, what other products uh, need to include? Because uh, mainly it's going to be the communication uh, suite, such as OMail, ONET, this, that, um, and of course, OConnect, OPAL. So let's. Let's probably down the road gather up like we in the name of the deaf community. What are your dreams? And uh, we we will have a little bit of the tools where they can give us input type or any way we can have or the sign language and with interpreter for in the beginning and uh, uh, gather all the thoughts and see what uh, products we need to apply them to. But I think we have a good start for now. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I did not expect all of that. But deaf community, I know you don't hear me now, but uh, Lynn is uh, looking out for you. Thank you. They send their love to you and they appreciate what you do. So thank you. I can do this for them. You taught me this. Sure, you're good at that. Awesome. And That's this. <laughs> yeah. Good job. You remember. Yeah. Okay, I gotta watch asses jumping all over on me here. What ass when you're done, do this to me so I don't have to cut you off. Great question, Glenn. Mm -hmm. Uh, my twin brother Michael is back. Come on, Michael, unmute yourself. I am a little bit better looking though, I gotta admit, but it's okay. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll give who, you that. Who came okay, first? I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> I think he did, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> you're older. <laughs> Um, uh, just, just a quickie, um, two things. One is a question um, with regards to O-Connect and the language translation. Uh, will we have that in the first build? No. Okay, that's good. And the second one is just a statement you mentioned about, um, uh, you're talking about no view uh, and, and uh, you know. Presentation view, yes. Yeah, so, and so you use no view. Um, so it's suggested O view or full presentation view. So yeah, just yeah. two things I'll, I'll throw at you that you can uh, ponder. Okay? Presentation view, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Right. Got it. You like presentation view? Either O view or full presentation view. So all view. These, these are not my all ideas. View. These are not my ideas. But I'm. I said. I what would, do you like? All I'll view. Bring it to you. Me, I'm easy. Okay. <laughs> right, Chris? <laughs> right. So, so only view, so, um, full so view, all view. Full presentation view. Full presentation. All view. One uh, word is always good. Uh, yeah, all view. Uh, all no view. view okay. But eh, you know, I'm not, you know, uh, I'm, 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 we, that's we not can me. rename it anytime. Yeah. yeah that's a beauty. Yeah. Okay. No problem. That's but, hey, easy. Maybe, I, maybe I have a contest for that. <laughs> oh, speaking name, of contests, name, yes. Name, name and contest. Beautiful. Very good. All right, sir. I really have um, one of our platforms is uh, crying out for uh, for names, and they want three names. But I, I don't want to bring this publicly. Um, yeah, uh, I would love some input on that. And I know some of you are very creative. We should we should have uh, 
just an inside uh, session and allow you vote. Uh, we can do that through OConnect maybe. We can have a poll survey. Sounds like a plan. We, uh, yeah, we give, uh, first of all, we give open. So we hear a bunch of names and then we boil it down and, you know, give multiple choices. And I think it will be fun. You know, people love to have their input in something and all of a sudden they become advisors and it just in there, like you, you have no idea. Just ask for direction and people will stop traffic to draw maps and walk you there. Very good. Here's a guy with that you're going to love, Ash. Mr. Wilton, I'm glad that you came I know him. to ask your question. Go ahead, Wilton. I'm glad you showed up. Um, good night, Ash. How are you, sir? Fantastic. All right. Very so productive session. I love it. Awesome. I'm so glad I get the opportunity to speak with you again. Um, Always a pleasure. I yeah. want to join with the others um, that speak ahead that we're with you all the way. There's no point of return. Wherever you go, we go. So I want to join with the others and said, um, just block out the noise. My mother used to say, don't watch the noise of the market, just watch the sale. And if we all do that, if we all do that, we'll be going somewhere. My, my, my inputs tonight, um, because as I said before, um, my only job that I know is to take care of people. So I'm a big advocate for the autism community. In, in the future, when Unpassive um, get rolling, will there be a product that we could use to communicate um, let's let's put it this way. An individual, a student could touch, just touch a screen and it could interpret to you what they are really requesting. Uh, will Unpassive be able to create a, a product that could um, be of such help? And um, because one of the things, one of the issue we had is really how to communicate properly to the needs are there. Yeah. So that's my first question. If you so you're like, what do you touch, for example, like on the screen, let's say you're having uh, what kind of uh, platform and what do you touch and what type of interpretation you want for that? So like, are you talking about an image and give me more info about this or a text? Yeah. What object? What? So let's say um, they're requesting bathroom. Just by touching that, it would interpret to... to um, like what, Wilton? What, like what? Let's say um, on, on, an, um, on an iPad then, and they would okay. touch the room. Um, but we get no interpretation. It's just, a, it's just an object here. Could we get... But like, like what do you want to touch, for example? Like, tell me. So a, a screen. Let's say we had a, a device. Mm. that we could touch and um, that would actually um, interpret to us what they are requesting because most of the time um, it's, it's, it's what they are requesting we don't understand I have to tell you I'm going for more A and B A you're either super intelligent and speaking above my head and I'm very dumb or mm -hmm. see both of them. Um, mm -hmm. And I have no idea uh, how can we make this tangible like to, to, to capture something specific. Uh, what you're saying, like to, to my understanding, if you touch anything on the, on the screen, it's an app, it's a, an image, it's a video, it's a website. It's, 
how? Like, what kind of concept is that? Sound that sounds like magical to me and a voodoo, and what? But, but if you're uh, just looking for generic information, you you just search that in the search engine. I'm really not uh, clear on the idea. Maybe once that is clear and you can reshape uh, the request, I can probably understand it or be able to explain it. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure everybody did, is like looking, huh? What is he saying? Okay, like, did what? you say bathroom, Wilton? Did you say bathroom? Yeah. So you're talking about an like an icon of, to say a toilet or something like that. And the person could touch that and say, I need to go to the bathroom. Is that is that the kind of thing you're trying to do? Like iconic images of specific needs that a person can touch and you know instantly what they need? Yes. Okay. Does that help, Ash? Well, a little, but but it didn't take me in all the way. So, but like about what? Like you need to be in a certain app. Again, it's not just an open thing like your iPad or whatever or device. How do you do the input? Are you going to take a, cam a picture from the camera or you're navigating on the tablet itself or the device? Or you're going in a browser website on the desktop. Like, what's the input? What's the output? What do you want it to tell you? Just information I, or guidance or GPS? I, I think he means like in a in like in a classroom setting because he's talking about um, you know students that are that have uh, autism, right? Mm. Uh, so I, I think if I'm not mistaken. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what he's referring. So let's say, um, you know, it, it's academy, you know, so the student is present. And so the student wants to say something to the teacher, um, but, you know, maybe they can't, um, uh, you know, speak it, voice it. Yeah, right? if so, you're using so a virtual device, just go to the bathroom. You don't so, need to do anything. Yeah. So, so, well, well, he's not... given, but he's using bathroom as an example. Um, <laughs> you know, th there will be other um, mm. uh, messages. Uh, so if like there, other than like raising your Jean... hand and just or yeah, like what texting Jean is back saying, in the chat. Yeah, what Gene what Jean is saying is having uh, different icons that mm -hmm. would represent light going to the bathroom um, or. You know, I don't know what other icon, but some other message that the icon would represent. So they'll be touching that screen yeah. Um, yeah. while they're engaged in the old Academy platform, as an example. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Yeah, that's my that's where I want to go with that. Thanks. So is it an application specific or just like on passive wide or device wise or? But since we're um, um, on passive, which will be you now the new way out, um, I was just hoping that there would be something that we could that could stand out from the others, that we could really walk with proudly and said, this is our brand. This is our way of doing it. This is the new way of doing it. Okay. Uh, I'm open to that concept. I, it doesn't sound like it's a priority or an urgent matter. Allow me to have another meal with uh, Mr. Michael Williams, and maybe he will explain that over a meal to me when I'm more alert. Or Gene, if you got that, maybe another round of it will uh, will clarify. But don't give up on me. It's, no, it's not never. okay. Uh, I just don't have it clear uh, yet in my uh, mind to be able to get excited and and implement it. Yes, yeah, so what maybe I request is to speak with Michael and Jean, and then maybe they could get a better clar clarification. That is even more sophisticated. So you had all that spin, so you can just talk to Michael and Jean. Okay, <laughs> you win. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks okay. again. You're welcome. But what if, if, if somebody else spoke? You still want to see them? I don't want to say names. <laughs> Who is that? You didn't know who's going to respond, right? Mm -hmm. yep. All right. Mr. Captain uh, Chris Johnson.
No, don't use me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Manu, I'm already in enough trouble. Manu, my beautiful sister in the yellow blouse. Come on. Great questions, Wilton. Thank you. That's a big crowd today. Thank you so much, everybody. On a Saturday night. Night. Well, everything is on the menu. Dash, um, ask and ye shall receive. That's how you're doing it. Oh, uh, my question is that, and it's not so much of a question as it gives me a couple of seconds to have a word with you. Um, uh, on the, when I'm on the main um, ecosystem page and I go to O Connect, and when I'm done, uh, when I go to log out. It, I logged out of OConnect, but still have to log out from the main screen. Is that how you like it? Or the new version is going to be one single sign out as well as one single sign in? So that's a good question to be honest with you. I believe right now, if you leave the session, you exit the, okay. the webinar session. Okay, okay, but you are still logged in. Uh, your back office of OConnect and ecosystem, if that's where you came from. Uh, and and uh, if you log out, your session is likely to time out. Um, for example, like if you have a session of one hour, your timeout in the background in, in your uh, ecosystem is 30 minutes. So if you're not having any activity in your, uh, it's gonna time out, but your webinar say, let's, uh, say it's one hour. I uh, I think it makes sense to keep it that way. Uh, yeah, because if you end the session, you might still want to be working in the back office. Okay. And you know, uh, if your if your back office ends or the session of the ecosystem ends, you don't want to cut off your uh, uh, meeting if you're still going on, right? Makes sense. Thank you. Thank you, you so much for all you do. Do you, do you want any okay. adjustment to that? Or is it good that uh, way? I, I think that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I will let Francis so, talk now. Thank you. Thank you, Manu. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Chris, you're muted, Chris. Turn on your mic. Francis, my man, come on. I said all kind of nice things about you. You missed it because I muted myself. <laughs> come on, Francis. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ash. God bless you and your family. Thank you so much. Uh, before I have my own question, I want to follow up with what we know to ask. If I am in the O Connect session and showing up the Omail and all those are uh, OES uh, platform, and then I close the session. Would that lock off my O Connect session? No, it shouldn't. I mean, if you close a session of any application, it shouldn't close the entire application. Okay. Uh, and secondly, uh, you know, it should not knock you out of the ecosystem, right? Because now you have the one single sign in, one single sign out. So right, but it's it. yeah, but it's not the per use. Okay, so for example, if you log out of O Mail, okay, we want to log you out from everything. So when you come back, like you either log into O Mail or to the ecosystem, either way. But if your if your session ends, it didn't log you out from O Connect, for example. Right. Or O mail, if uh, yeah, but if you completely log out, okay, then that is exiting. So n no matter where you log out from, it should log out all applications, right? Okay. Yeah, but keep in mind, Francis, uh, and I think uh, uh, Minu also the same applies. So eventually most of the stuff are going to be downloaded in your app desktop like it's an app and it's already there anytime you click on that icon of on passive okay it you're there you don't need to log in unless you choose 
to have the OTP every time you want to log in like a second layer authentication. Same thing with your app. So we did a demo uh, the other day. So that's it. Once you download the app and you're logged in with your credential of OnPassive ecosystem or mail, that's it. You're logged in. It's not going to, it will be open. So anytime you click on that icon on your phone, you're there. Okay. So it's mostly going to be on unless you choose to log out and log in. So this will, uh, will minimize the confusion. Thank you. Okay. I have a few questions. One is uh, about the recording. Now that you have the recording uh, um, feature, will it be possible to have a feature for editing before we send out to the group? So what about the recording? I'm sorry, Francis. Is there, is there a feature for editing, edit uh, recording before? The, oh, editing. Uh, yeah, that would be audit or uh, yeah, other features. You, you'd be able to put the video there and uh, edit, but not in OConnect. Mm -hmm. But it, if you're in the ecosystem and you know you can just have integrated uh, uh, applications. Yeah, I, I love the feature that the co-host can can also help the host if the host is out. That, that is very good. Thank you for the feature. Mm, absolutely. Regarding the speech to text uh, feature, would that be the same application for closed caption? Yeah. Yeah. So even and and then the, the difference is going to be so speech and it's typing. Okay. Right now, the first release, it will be in the chat. It's available in the chat as the first you know, uh, step. Then it will be, you enable it as closed caption, however you want to name it. But then the third layer will be speaker in a different language and you don't want it the same language. So somebody's talking English, you want translation in uh, Filipino or something, okay? So you can have that. That's the the third layer of the closed caption. Okay, so the uh, the first version of the commercial commercial one will not be the same speed as the not, the not on the entire screen. Okay, be yeah, because that's you know the the whole display is uh, is going to change. Okay, it's but the technology is already there, so it's only the design the cosmetic like what's the best way to do that so the technology is, is created it's already integrated in the chat section that's done so this will be in the first release now when they finish the design of the closed caption so this becomes available if you enable the closed caption or the speech to text it will be there okay mm -hmm. stabilize it another one will be Choose a different language for the text, but all all you know back to back. It's not like big gaps in between them. Well, thank you, thank you. Of course, I want to suggest about the the people that sign into the O Connect, the invited to the O Connect. Can we have a requirement that they put the full name so that they can Would lock you? in? If yes, to lock security. Name, mm -hmm. Yeah, if they don't put a full name or they, they if they put a pen name, they are not able to lock in or enter the room. You know? So it's better for us because every time we ask the, the audience, can you put the country, the name, they don't put it you know? we, with no idea whether who are they. You know? uh, mm. Can it be uh, automatic that in, if they want to be or interested to go into the O-Connect, they yeah. themselves need to the solution, Francis, I believe it will be O verify. So we, we enable O verify. You're just going to have a certain time. If you're not verified, it's going to lock everything, not just you know uh, one feature. So you're not going to be able to use. You'll be able to view until, which is free, you take a minute or two, become verified, which will include country, name, 
all the information, okay? Once you do that, uh, then it everything is unlocked. So O verify is going to take care of that. So once they do the O verify, whoever come into the O connect, the name will be improved. There, you're not going to do much without being verified in the entire ecosystem. You're not going to be able to subscribe. You're not going to be able, yeah. And for example, one of the advanced features we can have for the paid uh, customers to specific applications, okay? Uh, for example, you want to uh, only invite verified people. You, you can uncheck or not to include or exclude uh, un unverified people. So you just want verified people. But if you want to open it for everybody, you're just making that choice. So yes, uh, O-Verify will minimize this you know, uh, incomplete information. Most people don't have their country, their phone, their photo. Uh, small thing, they don't take much, but you know, once they verify their account, it, it will all be real people. Everything is complete. It's it just more accurate and more efficient. I agree with you. Thank you. Thank you. It, in, the, in the setup for the, the old connect, huh, there is also a button for exit URL. Currently, when anyone exit, they go to onpassy.com, isn't it? Yeah. Can, is it also possible to put in the affiliate link? You will be able to put whatever you want, yes, on the push button or push a link or a call to action when they exit, when and they exit. exit. Yeah, absolutely. Exit URL is yours. Yeah, thank you. I, I love the facial identification feature that, that Sister Julie mentioned. They, because when you do the training, sometimes you can watch people sleeping. So it's a facial identification. Can you yes. Get yes. Academy will have um, uh, attention uh, detection. Yeah. Finally, I was want to suggest about the O P O L L distraction uh, detection. Yeah. Distraction. <laughs> can drop it off. Regarding the pool, is there another another uh, product that we can have a bigger bigger population to use the pool? that we have those who are taking the vote, voting, because in all connect there's a limitation, right? Or unlimited. Yeah, that's a good idea. We could take it out as a separate service if somebody want to survey a billion people. Yeah, sure, why not? But because because uh, there are association, like even the-, the with, the, with the account capacity, I understand. Uh, they have yeah. the AGN, the annual mm. general meeting, sometimes the old folk or the senior cannot go and attend. At least mm. can take the vote at no mm. virtue. virtue. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Great Thank questions. You. You. And I think most of them are taken care of, uh, Francis. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Done deal. Good day. Yes, indeed. All right. Last, Peter Shore, last hand up. And then as you make the call. Thank Go you ahead. for staying up for us. <laughs> Thank you. I know you had a long day. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Ash. I did have uh, one question. Uh, you know sure. how every device, uh, particularly in computers, uh, if you don't you, uh, move your mouse for a certain amount of time, it goes to sleep. Um, uh, being O-Connect, being a, a video conference, I've noticed if you're multitasking and you're just listening while you're doing other yes. things, yeah. the computer actually do go to sleep during all connect. Unless I don't know if anybody else noticed that. Yes, uh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. If, if if your screen is inactive, right, it it goes to sleep the screen. But yes. you're okay. We we suggested something to refresh your screen. Okay, as you almost refreshed it, like on on your end, so. Every let's say five minutes or so, uh, it refreshes that. Even if it sleeps, I don't think anybody has it less than five minutes. Mostly 10, 15 minutes or and above. Uh, so if it sleeps, 
if it sleeps, like it refreshes. So it's almost like refreshing your desktop. Uh, so we suggested that to have an auto refresh seamless because you don't want to uh, to you know to kind of like go blank on your right. uh, uh, video view. Yeah, perfect. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because like when you watch a YouTube video, for example, and you're multitasking, it would always go on. Right. Until you stop it first. Doesn't sleep. Yeah, Got it. Doesn't sleep. But yeah, appreciate that. Ash. That's all I have. Thank you, brother. Yeah, very good uh, observation. Yeah, I I requested. I, I I don't want it to sleep. Yeah. Thank you. To me, I don't want anything to sleep. I like. I don't want a timeout. Keep it all. Like, well, why should we? put our products to sleep, let them, you know, stream. But sometimes it's not just up to us, it's up to the user's preferences and uh, settings on their devices, all of that. Uh, Mr. Ash, sorry. Sure. You know, the previous, previous session we mentioned about in the, in the OES, Regarding the increase in ROI, the word increase in ROI. Remember? Oh, that's fixed. That's fixed. Come on, please no, tell me. It's back. It's back already. Go, go back. Go back right now, please. Because no, I'm, I'm I... In the, I'm in front of the screen. It went you back have again. to, you, you have to be the only one. Please go back. <laughs> so you go to the profile, right? In the ecosystem, right? should be increased sales everywhere. Got to do it like, it's where, where? I mean, can- the, the profile below, below. Are you talking in the profile, about in the ecosystem down. on the dashboard? The OES, yeah, and that profile. <clears throat> grow your profile. Network. Hold on, hold grow on. Grow your network, increase ROI. Under the profile, right at the bottom. Okay, so the, you see the name, right? Your name. My, click my that. Affiliate link. Oh, you click under my affiliate link? No, it's under profile. Then you scroll down, scroll down to the page huh? at the bottom. No, you click the profile, right? Yeah, correct. You click on your name, the drop down, which you see profile, FAQs, right? Yeah. So you select profile, correct? Yeah. I click the OES ID. The OES ID on top. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, then your whole okay. The profile appear. Then you scroll down. I, I know. I saw that. You're right. Yeah. So under my affiliate link. So yeah. let's go to my profile. I'm, I'm doing it. Okay. So wow. Okay. Watch this. Go, uh, go back. Like click on the dashboard uh, or on the on the logo on the top left. And click on profile. That is so weird. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this this has to be by by re uploading the files because like you have no idea when I uh, how bad I looked. Uh, I told the team and they said, No, 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 look, check now. Okay, I said, Okay. And I saw it increase sales. So I think I uh, Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot so I, I don't wanna look bad again and they tell me go check it out. I'm gonna take a screenshot with the date now. Thank you. Okay, no problem, thank you. Because did you realize before, did you see it before they said increase sales? No, it, it, the last time you told me it's taken care. So I, I saw it taken care. Yes, no, it, it was, <laughs> it was. Okay. I, they probably did some screens, not all screens, but no problem. It's it's going to be mm -hmm. done now. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm I'm so sorry, but thank you for reminding me, and I am sending it as we speak. Don't worry, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Francis. Uh, we got Gershmender's got his hand up, and I got a question to Gershmender. Go ahead, brother. Make it positive. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Chris. Uh, so uh, as I got this uh, question from uh, one of our founders that uh, while uh, uh, a person is uh, uh, resetting the password in OES and now when the 
they go to the, the, the other link when, uh, when they click on that link. So our promotional videos start uh, playing uh, over there. So this uh, problem they are facing when they are resetting their password in OES. Mm. So this I think need to be corrected. So what happened when they tried to reset it? Uh, our promotional video, some, some kind of our promotional video, it starts uh, getting played instead of uh, like resetting the password. So on the login page, you re request to reset your passport uh, password, right? Yeah. Okay. And then when the OTP comes and they put, and then after that, uh, 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 this uh, promotional videos start getting played, and they, they they are not able to reset the actual password. So this uh, question came from two three founders. No idea how's that. So we're gonna have to test it. Okay. Yeah. So this one and uh, did you try that yourself? Uh, no, I didn't try. It came mm -hmm. from some one, two or three founders. So I'm gonna select now. Request OTP. So it when you put like an your alternative email. Yeah, yeah. It asks, uh, so you click submit, it goes yeah. to promotional videos? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh, so the second question is that uh, uh, our founder, when they are like sharing their uh, links, so what uh, they are feeling uh, that uh, they have, they go to OTRIM, now trim, uh, they trim their link and then they put that link, uh, whatever, on social media or somewhere else. Now, uh, so then they track from uh, OTRIM that also, like say, uh, for example, their link has been clicked uh, by 100 people on social media. Mm, now these mm. people think that uh, uh, these hundred people, they are uh, into the into their team now or uh, right now not, but uh, on passive or company will take care of these clicks and they will bring these people to their team. So is this right? So are you like talking about an internal uh, link or within within ONET, for example? No, no, no not ONET. They're, they're a referral link. Okay, mm. they go to OTRIM, then trim their link over there, and then they share into uh, onto social media, right? Just, okay. Now, for example, uh, on social media, they got uh, like uh, 100 uh, uh -huh. people click Views their link. or clicks, okay. okay. Yeah, clicks. Now they track uh, their uh, on uh, OTRIM, all those mm. things, okay? Now they feel that, okay, these 100 people, they are part of their team and company will bring all those people under them. So is that thing a true or uh, uh, they're doing right way or what? Because they feel uh, once they have clicked their link, so that means they are uh, being tracked by company and then company will ultimately bring those people to uh, 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 under them. So this is, I don't know why, uh, why I think you're, we're going too far with it. This is just telling you, so the amount of traffic on that page, okay? And uh, the company cannot reach them because we don't have their data, right? Nor we can lock them into your, if they take action in the future, if they didn't take it. But this is for you to give you an idea your reach, okay? How much is it, and all of that? Um, I don't think, you know, we uh, we can go beyond that. Other than this is the number of clicks, but how can we um, revisit those people, for example, and uh, communicate with them and bring them under you? There's no way. This is not your cookies. This is not tracking all of that. But if they if they at some point take take action, that is tracked to you. But if they don't take action, they just visited the website, the company has no connection with them. Because uh, two, three founders, they came to me, they said, oh, 
uh, we have got like uh, one founder, uh, I, I got uh, 800 clicks. So I have made a team of 800. I said, so, how come you made a team of 800? He said like this, uh, that this is the process. So, and uh, they have. So the answer yeah. is no, Gersh Miner. The answer is yeah, no. The answer is no. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Over to of you. Of course. Yeah. Thanks. All right. I'm going to ask you the hardest question of the night. I already put one hole in the boat. It has to do with the date. Are you ready, Ash Mafara? I'm super ready. Fired up. When are we going fishing? Oh, wow. Oh, I wish. Yes. I got to take care of my people first, and I would love to be out in the water with you. But not in Michigan in winter, okay? Oh, we're not no, gonna I'm, do com I'm coming to Florida in a couple of weeks. We're, gonna, not, we're not going to so. dig, dig a hole in, a, in, in the ice and <laughs> in Alaska. <laughs> I know you and I just don't get along. Um, uh, I want to thank you for coming on here. Of course. Um, I also want to say that I was responsible for tonight for bringing that lady on. And I also want you to understand this is something that Ash Mafara goes through on a daily basis. Did I want it on here? No, because I thought she'd be, she started out to be civil, but that's my fault. My bad. It won't happen again, but um, I want you guys to understand the greatest place where this man came forward today and uh, was nothing but excited about talking about his products. Let's keep it that way. Let's keep moving forward. Uh, we have a new brand new pair of tennis shoes that, um, uh, that Unpassive is making now. And when you get in them, they only go forward. They don't go backwards. They don't go sideways. They just keep trucking you forward. So, Ash Mafar, you got the last word. Thank you well, very thank much. Thank you, Chris, and thank you, uh, everybody who uh, came out quickly. Uh, it was needed. We needed to come here and, uh, again, uh, make sure everybody's uh, prepared for the exciting days ahead. And, of course, to address the uh, unfortunate things, uh, but it's not the end of uh, our journey. It's another uh, you know, uh, episode that we deal with. We deal with many. Uh, it just happened that you know about it. And uh, Chris, you meant very well with people because you have a, a, a pure heart and you uh, have the goodwill uh, and good, uh, you know, hope in people. You gave her a chance, uh, but there are some people who refuse to grow to a human level and they remain to be animals and, you know, disrespectful. And uh, we know if they have a good intention, they, they had a chance. You, you've done beyond any, anyone would do, but sadly, they still have a, a dark soul and, and all they want to do is damage and disrupt them, put down and all that. Who's complaining to you, uh, you know, and why you're being the defense voice of, of somebody who is corrupt and not for the actual millions? And uh, you're just uh, spreading, uh, you know, negative information, not giving an offer. Uh, you did, you did what a good man would do. Uh, but I think it's it's always uh, reassuring to and uh, a reminder to all of us. This is who we are. We're open, and if you want to see their logic, uh, even if it's not a good idea, it's wrong because. Uh, Evil is evil, and uh, you know, lost losers are not going to change. You're not going to change. I mean, God knows about them, and He's having probably. He he just, you know, He's not fixing them. It's not my business. So He has a plan for them. Uh, I, I don't control evil, so I'm just going to accept it. And what I can control is I don't spend time on it. Okay, I spend time on the good. And uh, what is productive, what's positive to people. There's no way I could explain to you why do they have to fabricate and make up things and force that by yelling and, you know, insulting and being disrespectful. You're not going to make a point. Uh, you just don't have a logic. And uh, it's, it's good. You did your part. Now you know publicly. Uh, and listen to your brother again. And to, to Sister Susie, don't touch it. Uh, they stink, okay? Uh, you tried your best. I think after today, don't don't waste a moment or breath on them. Uh, you did your best. Yeah, they're dead to you. Block everybody. Don't give them a voice. Believe me, believe me. Okay, if no founders and no unpassive users click on those, 
by good intention because you care. Oh, okay, they're trying to get your attention. Nobody knows them. Nobody knows them. They have 45 views. Up until on passive, they get thousands. Wow, okay. And why would they leave? If they have a better talk, why would they spend their time on something negative? We're going down. Didn't they, you know, report us? And they always uh, scream that, uh, okay, we're bad and this and that. Okay. If, if the government or anybody who's trying to make a point, if they have an evidence, we wouldn't be here. So let's be clear on that. Okay. We will continue. Uh, the fact is the fact. There are haters, but it doesn't mean anybody's opinion has to become a reality. Okay. We know who we are. We know what we're doing. And we have a, you know, a, a bunch of uh, life-changing products in the pipeline. I'm not even talking about the digital products. They are going to really be uh, be grateful, hopefully, and one day they will wake up and be thankful to what we're doing for things that would actually help them and everybody can use them. Uh, I don't want you to feel bad. I want you to feel uh, you did what you could do to help as a last uh, you know, resort for them, but uh, but they're dead to me, and we're moving forward. We have good things to do. Uh, we have bills to take care of, and we're going to continue that. Okay, and the facts and the, the statistics know, uh, we know them. Uh, don't volunteer for giving out information. Okay, our case is strong. Uh, Ron Hulbert, my uh, good cop is here. Can we hear you? Yes, you can, sir. How are you? I am doing very well. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, very good. I feel, I feel better. What? Fantastic. Uh, uh, you know, when somebody come and tell you that, this is just an accusation. This is not a fact. This is not final. This is I, okay. This is just an opinion. Allegation. I apologize, I apologize my brother. That cop in instinct went haywire along with my pacemaker. And I'm good. I love you. I'm good. I love you too. We're in good hands and uh, God from above is taking care of us. Okay. Uh, there's no way we would be here without his uh, protection. You got that right. Is yeah. We went through hell and, and back. <laughs> <laughs> we went through hell and back. And this is what we go through every day. They don't think it's like an unusual day for us, but we're going, we're working Sunday, Saturday, I'm it's there all for good. anything you need, man. Absolutely. Just uh, just uh, take advantage of the good we're doing, okay? Everybody should grab our uh, opportunity in a good way and uh, go make a change with it. Make a difference. Amen, brother. Fantastic. Amen. You actually, I am really uh, thankful. I, I think you got my brain cooking today. I took a lot of notes. Very good questions really productive, uh, more work for us, but it will definitely uh, even add more values and improve our uh, products. So thank you so much for your time, for your mm -hmm. commitment, for your support, for your genuine input and feedback. Uh, it, it means a lot. So, uh, and don't listen to something that would distract you or take you away from your dreams or steal your dreams. OK, uh, there are going to be losers no matter what. I'm telling you, if God has a solution for that, I wouldn't even know or you wouldn't even know about that. So uh, some people just refuse to be fixed. God bless you all. Uh, I'll see you soon. Manu, thank you for taking us with you under your thank wings. You. Always. It's a big crowd. And uh, we'll see you soon because we are just about to uh, have a thriller. <laughs> Don't sing God it. Bless. Don't All sing right. it. Thank you, Ash. Okay. Thank everybody. you, Ash. We love you, Ash. We love you. Thank you, Mr. Ash. Tina Go says we're Bye, 100%. Ash, thank you so much. Right. 100% of Ash Bafara. Everybody. Thank you, Absolutely. Ash. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Yes. Night, yes. everyone. Keep well. Night, everyone. Carol, you night, take Ash. Girl, Chris, go ahead. You have yeah. it.
Yeah, you have. I know I got it, but I'm 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 savoring this because it's nice to have that little button there. But the button, man, hit the button. (laughs) But Michael, Michael, you're getting skinnier as I look at you because you're so hungry. hungry. All right, guys. God bless you all. Have a wonderful Sunday. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.